gonna steal your sunshine and I'll shit on your parade. Don't get me started on doing my cocaine. My opinion matters, you're so far in last place. I'm not shutting up and you'll be learning my name. Fifth in the family, but first in my mind. One out of ten, but I'm ranking just fine. We've only got now, there's no afterlife. Look, mom and dad, I'm just speaking my mind. Everything's coming up, Kyle, tonight. Everything's coming up, Kyle, tonight. Everyone's coming on Kyle tonight. Wait, what? No, no. everybody welcome to season three episode 23 the finale of season three finale it is going to be one hell of a show it's the season finale it's the end of the decade it's the end of the year it's the end of the season all these things culminating at once it's crazy and so we couldn't Can just, I just give say you how any beautiful it was the day we shot that oh video. my god our intro is from june it's from yeah. like the first second week of a- june an amazing one of the day. nicest days we had all summer i mean we had a lot of nice days this past summer mm-hmm. and this is part three in the final installment of justin and i did not bother filming an intro this well week. you know i was actually thinking about it like i said when we went to get yeah. beer and booze yeah. and then i'm like it's fucking raining it's shitty out I'm, there's no problem. yeah unless we got some really cool shots of me sliding down the road in like my yeah. sneakers or something like that it wouldn't have been that and i would have I don't slide gracefully. Yeah. I'm not a graceful slider. Not a graceful no, slider. No, no. I slide about as good as season four of Sliders. Okay. Deep I don't, cut. I don't think I remember season well, four of Sliders. Well, it wasn't that good. Half the, yeah. half the cast was gone. The professor was gone. I think even Jerry O'Connell was gone at that point. It wasn't that good. So at least Wade slide. left. Oh, Wade from Sliders. That was like my biggest crush in the world for a while. She was gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Speaking of gorgeous... I am joined, as always, by Mr. Justin Olimpedo up there in the upstairs chair. Hey, man. Hey, hey. How you doing today, brother? I'm good. Doing I'm well. Good. That's good. We are also joined in studio by Mr. Mark Miller here. Hello. Hey. He Hello. Is, he is, so next, to, like, he is next to Senor right Justin. Here. Mark joins us every you know six months or so whenever he's able to, and we invite him. Yeah, um, you open this season? And yeah, he's bookending this season. Mm-hmm. It's wonderful. He opened it. He's closing it. And as you can see, and possibly here faintly in the background zach is still working on finishing this week's uh brunch weekly original Which is, uh, single. weird because it's a it's it's, it's a, a cover, cover of our own song time. yeah you'd think we'd have it done. we think we would but when we did the cover of just the song i've known my whole life that took we did we literally started the we three kings at 3 30 
because he was just home and he was still not down here till like 9 15. Yeah. So yeah. it was almost that one was almost a six hour song, which I mean, it kind of feels stupid to be like, I mean, we took a whole six hours to write this like 10 minute song. That's ridiculous. But most people <sighs> write a 10 minute song in about, you know, 10 weeks and record it in that, you know, yeah. they give it the time. But we're I mean, obviously speed it's not here. getting mastered and sent yeah. out. And all that yeah, stuff. I mean, that. we're mastering it in house. But... Yeah, as much as you can master something yeah. in 45 minutes tops. Maybe he's just trying to avoid trivia because he's a uh, maybe. He's a, you know what? We are going to have him down here soon, and he is going to have to answer some questions. So, as I was saying, we got a lot of wonderful stuff in plan for you tonight for the season finale. Um, the first off, I just want to point out, uh, Mark was wonderful enough to give us all an hey, early Keith. Christmas present. Hey, brother. Hi, uh, Oh, what are you doing? Oh, you're in Brooklyn right now. That's what you're doing. Yeah. Um, but uh, Mark brought us these awesome Christmas hats. Yep. Now, uh, yeah. Mark, do you, do you want to tell us a little bit about these Christmas hats? Because you, you, you got them at a, at a place Ooh. that you wouldn't expect so much quality from, you know? Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. They're knocking Dollar it out Tree. of the park with the Star Wars hats. There's like hidden... Hidden characters in the Christmas tree. Yep, literally in no, the hat itself, um, there is uh, what looks like a Christmas tree in the top of a Christmas tree, and it kind of is. Um, but the it, it's Luke holding up the lightsaber, and then you've got uh, somebody on like a land speeder. You've got other things making the shape of a Christmas tree behind everybody. I definitely saw Palpy in there somewhere. Yeah, mm-hmm. and the funny thing that we oh. also noticed with these hats is that it's original trilogy, everybody except for prequel Yoda, Yodes. for whatever reason. Yodes. It's Yodes prequel with Yoda. Stars, with a lightsaber. Yeah, Keith's saying that he's drunk and we should buy him a beer. Mean Mark returns. That's what he's saying in the chat over here. As always, guys, if you join us live every Tuesday at 9 o'clock, you get to chit-chat along with us in the chat. Yeah. Live chat area. And if you join us in the future, we're very excited that you are listening to us. But you should join us every Tuesday at 9 o'clock live on YouTube on the houseboat Tommy Lee Jones. Mm -hmm. Uh, This is our last uh, episode. That's what a finale means of the season. And just so you know, Mark, that's what a finale means. It means oh. the finally. This one. is when you and I finally get together. This and move is away, where right? the whole will they, won't they <laughs> wraps Sweet. up, and we go to we, Paris. We go to Paris. Who? Paris, Texas. Well, you we leave, moved to uh, Paris, Kevin Texas. At home? You leave Kevin. Yeah, at we home? leave Kevin at home. Yes. Yes, yes we do. <laughs> home Alone Five. There is a Home Alone Five. Oh, Do they man. go that far? It's, that far? It's just they go called that Home Alone Holiday. They went Home, four. Alone, Home Alone Holiday. Oh, they yeah. are talking about rebooting the whole thing all together, and they with who? They've announced a little bit, and they actually put out a, I think, a press release, and they said who the kid was going to be. It's not anybody that's known, but he looks like a young, like child actor. He looks like he's like a precocious, funny little guy. So hopefully, they give him the reins. But in this one, he's apparently going to be the bad guy, like the kid that's defending the house is doing it for a wrong reason. So they're kind of <sighs> turning on its ear a little bit. Um, and it's so not is it like the to... cops trying to get in to save no, I, him? And he's like, <laughs> "Fuck I you, what they coppers!" Said. It's somebody that's like trying to get something that's theirs, and he's just stopping them from yeah. doing. He's being a little bit more of a dickhead. Gotcha. Because um, Kevin was a dickhead. He was. He was doing. He was very resourceful. Like what you dickhead. Did, you little jerk. Yeah. Even his uncle knew he was a little yeah. jerk. Even I, his uncle. Knew. I actually don't like Home Alone. I love it. You don't like any of them? Well, even three. So, Scarlett Johansson. So I three. actually just watched three the other night. Yeah. Kid, I like three better than any of them. Really? I the race car is awesome. I think three is a better movie it's like a, it's like everything you want from like a early 90s action movie like yeah but, yeah, then, but then slapstick and not french stewart because he took over the role that was the first uh, one that... he took over joe pesci's role at some point like the oh, fourth yeah. one the fourth one where the McAllisters are like billionaires and they live in a giant mansion mm-hmm. and you're just like did they just combine is this richie rich's christmas and they just mislabeled it because yeah. it's pretty much what it well, is did they ever explain what their family does to, no no because that house is beautiful kids. and yeah. 25 people going no it's in no, chicago it's in chicago. It's in chicago okay it's a john hughes movie it's probably in Shermer, illinois yeah. actually you know yeah. it's it's all of his movies take place in chicago or the surrounding area they certainly don't do anything in child care no, 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 not, no, no. They're not um, good at that. Uh, <laughs> Catherine O'Hara actually is the head of children and youth. I have that right here. Yeah. And the father is into smuggling children. There we go. That's oh, why. Yeah. It's okay. That's so why they have their mind on so many other children. Yes, that's, they're just focused the on other children. Yeah. And there's that just pesky neighbor who won't stay out of the van, yeah. you know, and they count his head. And why would you buy your kid the same hat that your neighbor's wearing or a similar hat? 
It looks too similar. You're gonna. Yeah. You're, you're, it's your fault for buying that kid that hat. That's true. We lost our child because you, shitty neighbor, bought your kid similar hat. And don't watch your child. Hey, your child's he's just always wandering over around. Here. And really annoying. True. Really, a, that's precocious in a bad way. So I can understand why you might not like it. I, I love the, uh, the the Home Alone movies. I think Lost in New York is my favorite, but that's. I think more of the New York aesthetic is it just plays a bigger part in that. There was a um, lot of weird stuff in that one. Yeah, and it made me terrified you of mean like Central our Park. Yeah, oh, he is in that. He <laughs> is in that. That's slightly to modif- moderately terrifying. I was saying more of the bird lady and shit. Bird yeah, lady is yeah. pretty creepy. The pigeon lady. Yeah, yeah, she's pretty awesome and weird. Um, so while we're waiting on Zach, we don't want to get into you know anything say he's fun. Bouncing now, oh, so. bouncing! All right, I wanted to bring this up, and I mean it's something that I'm sure he'll be interested in talking about too. But fuck him. <laughs> I think it was yesterday, the day before, maybe sometime in the last week. Uh, They've announced that John Frusciante is rejoining Red Hot Chili I saw Peppers. Oh, that Jingle Pound. Um, so, and since you were on the show and, and we have done a Red Hot Chili Peppers intro song, uh-huh. I believe that was, um, I wanted to ask what, what, are your, what are your opinions? Do you think it really matters at this point in their career? Are you stoked for something that could happen with him rejoining? I, I think stoked is a strong word. I think they'll be listenable, maybe. Yeah. yeah. I, I think for the last few bits, it hasn't been. I, I, when it's did he boring. leave? Do you remember? It's when? Been it's boring. boring. Yeah, it's not it's like the guitarists they get are yeah. bad, but he brings something more to like he brings more writing and stuff to yeah. like that. Yeah. Well, I mean, um, he does the, all the stuff for um, uh, shit. Um, Zach's gonna kill me if I can't remember this. Right yeah, now. he'll kill you. He'll Mars kill Volta. You. Mars Volta. He, yeah, yeah, he does oh, all the yeah, recording yeah. of the guitar yeah. for Mars. Oh Volta. right, yeah, yeah, I didn't know that. Or now, at least he was. When did, did what was the last album that he was on, or the last time period that he was in the was Chili Peppers? Stadium Arcadium. Years ago, I'll say, like, was it the double. He was on the, the double. Stadium right? Arcadium. Was that with like yeah. snow and all that? Because I remember that? that was when they yeah. were doing the big tour again. Okay. And I saw I saw them during that. Yeah. Yeah, he was there then. And then he left, like, right after that. And then it also, you're saying you saw them with him. You probably, I mean, going to see them live without him kind of be like, eh, whatever. Uh, Luckily, um, I've never had to do they, that. Who was so. the guitarist This will boost their between. sales, at least. In, who was playing since, guitar for them since, since then? then? Yeah. I have no idea. Just some random dude? I don't, I think they kind of. It's John Mayer in a wig, I believe. <laughs> I think they He's went the route, like, you know, when bands finally, like, they just don't really get him off the internet. Like, yeah, it's like, oh, he plays on the albums and stuff, but he's not in the band. Yeah, kind of yeah, like, yeah. Like, they just like, have a like whoever the bass player back. is for Rolling Stones. Yeah, yeah, for yeah like the last the, like twenty okay. years. You the know, like, second guitar player for Green Day. That's, yeah, I'm pretty sure what's his name from fucking uh, Foo Fighters th- did it for a while. The guy that was Pat originally Smear? in Sunny Day. Yeah, Pat. Yeah, no, Pat, uh, not Pat Smear. He didn't do Green Day. The guy from Sun. No, oh, no, he was Nirvana's backup at yeah, one yeah, point. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's what it was. But yeah, Green Day's got some random guy that I remember reading was from, like, a band, and I was like, really? I'm like, hey, I guess you're a professional musician, your band stops, and then the, one of the biggest bands in the world goes, stand back there and play our power chords. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. <laughs> got Sounds that. good. Cool, cool. What is this one again? Oh, three chords again? All right, sweet. Yeah. Oh, we're getting older, so it's slower, even easier. Yep. You and now we're going to call it a musical. Oh, my God. That album still. It's 15 years later, and I still can't fucking stand even more than that. I still can't fucking stand that album. Yeah. All right. The man, the myth, the Christmas legend is here. We are now joined by Mr. Zachary. Roll, there you go. One. That one is an eight-stage open, I oh, believe. An eight-stage open. Now, uh, Zach, we were just talking about John Frusciante rejoining oh, uh, Red well, Hot Chili Peppers. About this. Now, uh, are, you, are you excited? Mediocrely excited? Don't really care? They kind of done for you? I don't you. give Doesn't a shit matter. what the Red Hot Chili... Oh, my God! Oh, this no. is Lucy Goosey over here. I'm talking here. shit! My <laughs> the studio's falling apart! No, watch out for the nog! Uh, yeah, this is how season that. three ends <laughs> with everything breaking. Nog over the Somehow floor. the nog explodes. No, no. Oh, no. All right, we do have we do have some nog. You know, I mean, it is we're nogging it once more. We're nogging it again. Oh, oh, that's oh. some good ear noise. That is. This is the mm. ASMR section of the podcast. Yes. You could have muted me. Oh, you're right. Yeah, no, okay. this is good for ASMR. I can't mute me. I can't you're mute right. me. You're Obvi- right. Obviously, you're right. Either way. So, uh, John Frusciante, who cares? If you care, cool. If you don't, whatever. I I love his guitar playing. I was just talking about... But I'm sick to fucking death of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah. 
It'd be good now just if they're on tour and you happen to have someone buy you a ticket, you know you're getting the best version of them that you can get right now. Chad Smith's doing an art exhibition, though. With really? Will Ferrell? Yeah, I hope it's with Will Ferrell. <laughs> it's like his abstract artwork. Okay. I don't know. Have you looked at any of it? No. Have you seen any of it? It's John Fr- Frugiani. It's John just him. Frigi- I was actually Frigiani. just reading the other day Fr- Frigiani? how Fr- Frigiani. they said he's the one who gave uh, River Phoenix his last... The last drugs that killed him. Who, really? John Shante? Yeah. Really? And is that the correct that checks pronunciation out. for Shante? That's what I've always... Okay, I pronounce... Thought, yeah. I tend to overpronounce Finagini. every It's not individual. a Reek Marshall. So. Okay. Mm, that's right. the guy who replaced him the first time. Oh. What about Dave Navarro? That one Navarro? was easier to say, at least. He came after a Reek Marshall. I love yeah, but, that And album. Tobias Harris. No, wait. He's a He plays for the Sixers. So. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse to Tobias. That's oh, it. There you go. There you go. All right. Well, uh, we've already we've already said the word nog, so I think Justin, it's time to introduce the people to what we are consuming beverage-wise this evening. Sure. And it's not beer. It's, it's not nog, beer. boys. It's not beer. It's not. Okay. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Hey, yeah. 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 What are we drinking? What are we drinking? What are we drinking? We're drinking nog. Our Mine's Wally broken. World, one of them broke, so Justin oh. took that. So you can't do oh. my favorite thing, the the double hold and, and, That's and good. sip. That's good. That's drink. good. Mm. Cheers, guys. It's one of my favorite uh, scenes in the whole movie. Oh. Now, we all right now are sipping the original concoction, which is oh, just yeah. Kahlua and eggnog. Yes. Now, in the Pyrex container over there, it already... Crack. It is. We are cooking crack. This is good. That this is oh, delicious. Um, it is already mixed with. Uh, it's one down. with rum <laughs> as well. Love so it. that one's Love got rum in it, Zach. It. This one does not. All right. So if you want more no rum, it's over here. If you want some with rum, it's over there. It's <laughs> all your rum. call. It's good. You want rum? Can You're I just say again Kahlua. that I am glad that we're not chugging gallons of eggnog? Yeah. Let's let's touch on that. Yesterday, I'm not glad because that means I lost. <laughs> Well, we are ending the uh, the season of our fantasy football league, which uh, Mark has been a part of and has been in second place for the most fell. of the season. Yeah, you, you started off all right and then dropped. I kind of was just middle for the most of it. In the last like month and a half, house. I've just like yeah. peaked up. I I'm overtook good second place, place it's for that, it's that Swayze one week. avatar. It's the Swayze avatar, the Coxman man, the Coxman. And now it is uh, seeds three and four are in the finals because we beat seeds one and two. So I beat Mark, but. Going into last night's game, where Drew Brees, you had Drew Brees, you had Michael who was the Thomas, receiver, Thomas, and, and then New Orleans, New Orleans defense. De- yeah. defense. They won what thirty-seven to nothing or forty-four yeah. to nothing or something ridiculous seven. like yeah, that. They had, like Indy scored seven. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they oh they did score seven. Oh, um. So halfway through the game, I look at the score and I'm like, all right, you you were originally it was like one forty-eight to fifty-one or fifty-five or something like that, and I said. All right, if you can make this up, you know, the whole thing with these three people uh, or these three, you know, positions, I'm going to chug an entire gallon of eggnog live on the air. And then Justin <clears throat> said, yeah, I'll join you in on that. Because um, my thinking is uh, that would suck for just one person. Mm, like to thank you for with... offering to, to yeah, you're team welcome. up with and me And then immediately that. I regret it Because Mark all of a sudden <laughs> pops up to like 102 <laughs> points in the first quarter, and I'm like, oh, fuck, yeah. and Drew Brees had a record-breaking night. For, I mean, it wasn't the night itself that was record-breaking. It was something that happened within the night. Um, but, I mean, he he was doing really fucking well, and at one point I was like, oh, God, we're going to have to chug a lot of eggnog, and the whole show is just going to be me vomiting into a yeah. bucket. I'm and so glad I also didn't stalled. say that. Yeah. <laughs> I think if the game would have been closer, yeah. I think I might have got you. You might have gotten because it. Because they didn't they have to do anything. They would have been pressured to go, I think they go, would have, go. He would have thrown like 10 touchdowns. All to Michael Thomas. Yep. Well, that was the thing. The the one guy that I was talking to at the bar was like, hey, uh, so who who does he have? And I'm like, Thomas. He goes, Brees and Thomas. He's like, yeah, he might do that. You shouldn't yeah. make that bet. And I was like, yeah. Well, no, I mean, it's a fun bet to make. And he's like, you're Wait, drinking eggnog tomorrow. How come Mark's not drinking a gallon of eggnog? Oh, because I said I, I would do it. That he didn't I'm make that not bet. A crazy hey, would you like some of this rum version? I would. Oh, Look the rum up. version. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. All you're right. Welcome. So uh, I have a Can little special, uh, a little bit of a special <laughs> thing in, in store for the three of you tonight. Um, throughout this season, we have done uh, some trivia here and there. Zach is by far in the lead. I think it was like 19 to. 
14 I'm to doing good. 13. I think Justin's at the 13. Um, so what we're doing is we're oh, yeah. we're screwing Zach over, and we Thank are erasing sir. all of the scores from this season. And Practice. I'm going to give you five questions. Five questions. Oh. Since Mark was the first guest oh, to yeah. kick it off, he was here with Mikey back in June. Oh, man. We're bringing it all back. Five questions for the each, uh, the three of you. And these are all going to be about the podcast. Kyle Boca won't shut up. Is They're this all going about to be the last time we may hear this song. Um, this might be the last time we. I think this is the last time we're probably hearing this song. So Justin, cue it to it. Yeah, do it. It's trivia time. I'm a trivial guy. Now it's time for trivia time. Yeah. Uh, all right. So uh, what I did is I re I, I listened back to last year's Christmas episode. Now, Mark was on the week before the final episode, and he recorded our original version of Bitch and Christmas. Bitch and Christmas. Mm-hmm. Now, the oh, following man. episode was just the three of us, and we were wrapping wrapping it up before we fucked each other. We were wrapping it up before, um, what was that? Sorry, Freudian slip. Before uh, the, the, the break for the holidays and everything. So we decided uh, that episode just to be the three of us, and that's where we wrote Satan Baby. Hey. Now, I listened back to the episode and I came up with five questions hey, did you send that from time? that yeah. episode. Do you have it? No. Nope. You don't have it? I do not. You do not? No. Double check, triple check. I'm checking through two emails right now. Technical difficulties, making sure we have our brunch weekly original single. And while we're doing that, well, we uh, there we go. There we yeah, go. Yeah, 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 there we go. It just popped up. Okay, All right. Sure. So, as I, as I was saying, last year's episode, uh, we premiered. Satan Baby. Um, it was the week after we had Mark on for Bitch and Christmas. Um, I'm going to test a the memories of the two of you, mm. Justin, Garbage. Zach, and uh, the great. memory as people that were on that episode, and the memory of uh, Mark. I'm geriatric, so who good is luck our on that. number two fan after <laughs> Helen? You know, I mean, after Helen, it goes Mark. Um, she hasn't been here in a few, a few she weeks. She hasn't. So. She hasn't. So she's slipping in ranking. She's, she's probably slipping. busy with Christmas. Too. Probably. She's, she, you know, she's a nice lady. It's Christmas time. Nice ladies probably are busy around Christmas making shit, cookies. Everybody. Exactly. Mean Mark. No, mean Mark. Nice Helen. <laughs> mean people. It's true. I'm making cookies, but they have glass and razor blades. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they they have glasses. <laughs> they have glasses. <laughs> I'm making visually These impaired are cookies. Dorky fucking cookies. Yeah. Yeah. And I just make fun of them. These cookies are like 2020. It. I'd like to punch you in the face. <laughs> 2020 cookies. I like it. I like it. Okay. So, uh, again, these are all going to be from that episode. So, okay. question number one. You all have your dry erase boards. Yeah. yeah. All right. Number one. Every week at the top of the show, Zach cracks open a beer in the space between his first and last name as I introduce him. In last year's Christmas episode, Zach was late to get to the microphone for his can opening and said which of the following phrases mm. that I, in turn, made his nickname, calling him Zachary This Thing Storman, all right? So which phrase did he say as he was running to the microphone? Is it A, push it! Push it, okay. B, fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> C, I wasn't ready, asshole! <laughs> or D, God damn it, God fuck shit! God, well, those are all things I would that's, fucking yeah. say. All right, so is it A? Is there an all of the above? Is it A, poo shit? God, I wish it was that B, one. fuck, 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 fuck. C, I wasn't ready, asshole. Or D, god damn it, god fuck shit. Mm, okay, I have my answer. All right, Justin, answer. what is your answer? I'm putting C. You're putting C. All right, Mark, do you have your answer? The big D. You're putting a big, big D. D. And Zach, what are you going uh, with? C. C. So you guys think it was I wasn't ready, asshole, and you're thinking, God damn it, God fuck shit. It was B. Fuck, 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 when we recorded last year's Christmas episode, there was an extra person in the house who was here, but not here for the episode. They sat on the couch yeah. for the majority of the episode. Which of our friends, who I promised we would have on as a guest next week, next I month, next year, never, as I said in the episode, next week, month, year, I never. And they hung out on the couch while we recorded. Who was it? Which one of our friends? Was it A, Omar? B. Fasano, C. 
Preston D. Will. I got my answer. Who was I already on, wrote you it. Already, did you know? Did you remember this? I think so. Or are you just going <laughs> off of other It literally other, could be any clues. of those people. It literally I'm, could I'm be any sure, of those people. I'm Before you gave sure. the list, I definitely wanted to go with Omar, but now I think it's different. You would have gone with Omar? Before you gave yeah. the list of people. Just I mean, he is just because that's a safe guess. I haven't but. seen Omar in a while. Yeah, I haven't either. Me neither. I mean, and that is, I mean, he's been busy with work and everything. He's got the new place that he's helping, you know, cook at and all that. Which place? Uh, isn't he still over at, uh, no, not there nope. anymore? And, They're just losing everybody already? Catherine left already. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. All right, don't go to the happy hour, people. Yeah. Fuck it. But it looks so nice. I puked so great. much when we were there. You did. Yeah. Ooh, I just had some of them on with rum. And that, so you were good. right. It is great. It's good. Both Colin. of them that are great. Is, it's good. Oh, wait. No, I didn't. I had the exact same thing again. It's right. just still good. That's the rum one over there. Well, the good news I was is like, it's I also good. I can barely taste the rum in this. I mixed it perfect. Oh, there's no rum. All right. So, Mark, you have your answer? You said you're fairly confident. You're saying C. Zach, what are you going with? Oh, Preston. C. Preston. Preston. Justin. And it is. It was Preston. He sat there and played video games yes. pretty silently the entire uh, time. Uh, but up front, he, I he, said he, that he could come on at some point in the future. Maybe next week. Maybe next month. Maybe next year. Yeah. Maybe never. Well, that's never um, going to happen now. He's back in Alabama. Yeah, and so it's a never. All right. Yeah, why don't you guys say, just go on the road? He didn't say anything. <laughs> we could do it. I know. He just up and left. We could do it. Of. Be back. All he does Probably. is up and go. All right. Number three in last year's episode, uh, the Christmas episode, Zach reveals his newest drink concoction. He perfected it uh, on a Sunday morning fuck. at Floods. This drink was a new level, as Zach oh. said, a new level of depravity, debauchery, and delinquency. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm funny. You are. Yeah. What was this drink? What was this drink that was a new level of depravity, debauchery, and delinquency? Was it A, any flavor White Claw, take a few sips, then fill with vodka? Was it B, order three Rolling Rocks and three shots of Jameson? Do all three shots, chasing each one with a sip out of a different beer bottle? Ooh. Is it C, lemon water and Jim Beam with a real lemon slice, never have them empty the glass, just keep adding ice and fresh lemon so you can count your drinks? Okay. Or is it D, equal parts slow gin and gin, Shake with ice, pour over ice, and orange juice in a pint glass. You call it gin and <laughs> juice. Because it's slow gin. Okay. Yeah. All right. So White Claw, Jesus. sip a little, fill with vodka. Three Rolling Rocks, three shots of Jameson. Lemon water and gin beam, or slow gin and gin, pour over ice, and orange juice. Which was Zach's choice? A, B, C, or D? Mark, what do you have over there? What are you going with? You're going with A. All right. Justin, what are you going with over there? C. You're going with C and Zach. Also C. I it, think this was C. It is C. It is yeah. lemon water and Jim The White Claw's too new. The White, the white Claw, claw happened, though. No, I feel like I remember it you did. saying that. That is one that okay. happened, all right. and that was a trick for you. Yeah, you got me. All right. So, so far, everybody's got... I have two uh, points. You got two, two, and, two, and, two. and one. one for Mark. All right. Yeah, I'm losing. Come on, man. You listen to the show. I don't remember All shit right. from it. <laughs> that was a year uh, no, ago. I'm just kidding. Wait, you don't re-listen to every episode all the time? Every oh, day, yeah, that's dude. All I oh, to. You're, you're not listening the only to us podcast every I listen day. to, and I do it all and, day And long. you ignore your family. Your ch- you're like, listen, I haven't re No, I make them listen because yeah. I like them to hear cursing. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you want to hear some debauchery, delinquency, and depravity? <laughs> Fuck 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 fuck, 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 Triple D. Triple D. You want to learn how to make weird drinks? Yeah. <laughs> Tune in. You want to, well, you want them to learn how to make weird drinks for you. Yeah. All right. So number four, at one point in last year's Christmas episode, I suggested sarcastically that we should do a review of the new album of a band made popular in the late 90s, early 2000s. So they were releasing an album right around this time last year. What was the band whose new album I said, we'll probably all listen to never? We'll probably all listen to Never. Has it happened? I've not heard of this okay, since we cool. talked about it. Can we do a review on it? <laughs> I don't know if I want to. Is it A, Eve 6? Okay. B, Good Charlotte? Ooh. C, Nickelback? Yeah. D, Papa Roach? Oh, Eve 6, man. Good Charlotte, Nickelback, Papa Roach. Could be so, any of those. Do you remember if any of them have released an album at all yes. the last year? Well, yes. Zach and I know years. about the Papa Roach. One specifically. Years. One specific. Yeah, I don't remember if it was. No, that was last year. Papa Roach yeah. released an album this year. I do know that. Last year, Papa Roach I don't know. Turns out releases an album every year. Yeah, true. So, you gotta but, make. 
the one I the one I'm thinking of. Sell them. I no, remember the video. A is Eve Six. B is Good Charlotte. C is Nickelback. D is Papa Roach. God, I one I remember the video of where the video it's them as the f last band remaining in the whole world. That's a really confident statement to be making. Oh, that you know what? I hope so everybody sad. dies and it's only Papa Roach. I hope that's well, that what happens. fits with the name. All right. So which, which one are we going with? Justin, uh, do you have your answer? B. You're going with B, which is Good Charlotte. Zach, what are you going with over here? B. B, which is Good Charlotte. Mark, D. It, it, it is D. It is Papa God Roach. It. it is damn Papa it. Roach. It is God that. So now we have two albums to review. And now we've got a tie. Yeah. So this is for everything. <laughs> This so is for first everything thing Papa Roach ever did for me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, number five, final question, tiebreaker oh, for all of the no marbles. For all the nog. All the nog. Yes, yeah, so you get to chug all of the nog <laughs> uh, that's left over after the episode. Um, okay, number five in the same episode we've been talking about. There is a snack item from my childhood that I admit to mispronouncing until an awkwardly oh, old God age, probably like 14. What was the mispronounced snack? I mispronounced the snack up until about the age of 14, and I admitted to it last year. Is it A, polio, and I pronounced it as polio? Is it B, Oreos, and I pronounced it as O-R-E-O's? O-R-E-O speed Is it C, Cheetos, that I pronounced as cheese toes? Or is it D, Nilla wafers, and I pronounced it as the Nia wafers? Could it be all of those? Again, Polio, but as polio. Oreos, but as O R E O S. Actually, this might be from a different episode. Cheetos, but as cheese toes. Hmm. Or Nilla wafers, but as Nia wafers, because you know the Spanish. Yeah. Spanish that I spoke growing up. Yeah. All right, Zach, you already have your answer written down. Yes. Fairly confident. What do you think it is? A. A. Polio, polio. but as polio. Justin. A. A. Polio, but polio. And A. It is A. It is polio. So we. <laughs> End right. the season tied. But I wrote that I win. So I, I win? win? I win. Question mark? Question mark? Hey. hey. All right. There hey. you go. That was a good way to go out with trivia. That was a good way to wrap yeah. it up for trivia. We'll be doing other yeah. things Not in so the next season. Not so much for Zach, who was actually winning, though. Yeah, I mean, realistically, Zach, Zach wins. Win hey, we all know Zach wins. I don't need you guys to tell me how smart I am. <laughs> <laughs> Super smart. <laughs> Super smart. <laughs> all right, before we jump into our featured artist of the week, uh, I do want to give another shout-out to our buddy Sean L. Sasser, uh, yeah. who is in a, a unfortunate car accident and is going through recovery mm -hmm. right now. Uh, it looks like it, they said it's about like a 12 week recovery to the point where he is like able to start walking again. Yeah. Um, he was in a really bad car accident. Mm -hmm. um, they're doing some fundraising for him. You can check it out at gofundme.com uh, forward slash help Sean get mobile again. And all of the words are separated by little dashes. So it's Hold help on, dash get Sean dash here. get dash mobile dash again. Um, and you can also support him by going to eggnogskateboards.com. Is that what they're really called? That's what his skateboard company is called. Oh, yeah, Eggnog yeah. Skateboard Company. So you can go on there. You can buy decks. You can buy stickers. You can buy shirts. You can buy, again, not if you're a fat person. You can't buy stickers. Um, and if you're yeah, looking on the live, here. here you go. Help Sean get mobile again. I love that the picture of him is him, like, car surfing on the bed of a truck. Yeah. And that was the picture they used on the Pocono record when they did an article about him trying to, like, raise awareness that he's, you know, been injured and, and needs help. Right now, they're about, I mean, actually, you're on the live website. Is it over 36000 38000 30. 30. So, since this morning, they've raised another $230. Yeah, it's, it's so, $1,170. Hell yeah. So, every, every dollar is going to help. Uh, there's potentially going to be... Uh, fundraising uh like show mm -hmm. that we're going to try to do in the future that uh i know steve-o from the crippling addictions is looking to try to get something going there so definitely again, uh reach uh, out help out do everything you can buy Here a skateboard. Is eggnog skateboards if you don't want to if you don't want to donate buy buy a skateboard Grind, you know. some uh you know yeah. get, get some <laughs> pins whatever you yeah. know Every dollar helps. Um, Sean's an awesome guy. He did the design on our original, original logo. Yeah. Um, so big shout out and love mm. to him and, and hope everything's recuperating. He's he's definitely got his spirit still with him because he is present on Facebook now that all he can do is sit in a fucking bed or on a chair or something like that. Um, so definitely go check all of that out. Uh, but our, our first, uh, our, our last single actually of season three that we are going to be playing uh, from a featured band is from a band called The Institute. They are a British melodic rock group made of two pairs of brothers that formed earlier this year. If you like what you hear, you can check them out on Instagram. It's at 
the underscore institute underscore band, but institute is spelt like you would spell Instagram. Yep. So insta toot institute that's like when you can fart on command yeah, yeah. Institute. Exactly. it's an institute <laughs> sorry guys i really hope that's where they were Can't going with this it. so the new single that actually was uh releasing sometime in the next couple of hours officially is called things you hated yep. um so we're gonna jump right into that again this is the institute a british Wait, melodic rock group yet? this is not out we are the Ooh, we are premiering it for the world oh, and these are Insta. a bunch of Really, really talented, younger. They like the one kid looks like he's literally like seventeen. Another yeah. guy looks like he's like twenty two, twenty three. So they're in that age where like never being abandoned. You're like, wow, there's like three children and one forty year old man because the guy was all, like the only one that was able to grow a beard. Mark, you remember doing that, right? Um, you were the child with the long, pretty hair and no child. beard. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. gonna say. I, and you were. Yeah. Oh, it was just you hanging out with Uncle Matt, and people were like, yeah. look at this guy's yeah. dad. Yeah, yeah. Look at this guy's dad just over gave here. Some equipment. Yeah. yeah. All right. So again, the institute. Check them out on social media. Check it out on YouTube. Anywhere you can find it. The album is dropping today. Again, this is things you hated. We'll see you guys in a couple of minutes. Three minutes, nineteen seconds. Enjoy the single. To have the Australian UK. Uh, oh, battle next year. I'm going to do a battle we'll between Australia again, and the UK. Oh, yeah. That dude. was good. I thoroughly enjoy that. Zach, you, what band did you say that they kind Billy of. Billy Talent. Billy Talent, yeah. They definitely yeah, have that yeah, vibe there bit. to it. The, the fucking guitar player is fucking phenomenal in that. The vocals are. Every, everything, everything was mixed really is, well as well. It, yeah, it's, it's a beautifully. 
presented uh, example of how well they can write music. And they've literally sure. only been doing this for a couple of months now. And again, it's two sets of brothers. Um, the, the pictures on their Instagram of them like recording, it's like in a basement with like just a bunch of shit. Like it looks yeah. like they just cleared out the basement, just threw a bunch of shit in the back corner. So it feels very DIY, um, which I thoroughly uh, enjoy and kind of for am sure. always looking forward to finding stuff like that. But they, uh, yeah, they're from the UK. I think they're from Kent. Uh, but they're in uh, England out there, so you can uh, check them out again at the unders I don't know where, underscore no, I don't know Institute is. with an A instead of an I for the second I. Maybe that's just how they at spell the it. At the Institute in Band. Um, I don't know. I, I was uh, reading it as the Institute for a while. I was reading it as the Institute, but then on the actual file, it just is written as the Institute, so I think they might have, like, found another band and just changed the spelling of their name type of thing to keep their name the same, but just a clever way of doing it. But I like Zach's idea that it's just about uh, an immediate poop. Yeah. Or yeah. immediate fart. Immediate fart. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Now, this week for our Brunch Weekly original single, we've been teasing it for a couple of weeks now. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we actually teased it last year at the end of that episode, saying, yeah, we'll revisit this. We'll redo that. And unlike many things that we say on the show, we pulled through on this one. We yeah. have mm -hmm. done one cover so far in the last couple of weeks. We did our We Three Kings cover, and now we have revisited one of our own songs. And from what I've heard, I definitely think we've uh, kicked the original version's ass. Um, yeah. Since we were all a part of the original writing of it, uh, everybody that's in this room, and none of us can remember it because it was a year ago, um, what would you say? I'll start with Do you Mark. You want me to play a piece of it? Of the original? Yeah. Nah, they'll hear okay. the other one. You can go find that on the. It's, it's literally actually the, on the, the second yeah. song listed on the Brunch Weekly original yeah, single track. I assume people listen to it like as soon as like Thanksgiving is over, they just start listening. They to start listening Christmas to it, Bitchin' Christmas ben for a whole month. New Year, yeah. 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 I yeah. think you, so if you're probably, not already listening to it, you're you're yeah. you're, you're slacking yeah. over yeah. there. Santa so. baby, and then that. Yeah, yeah. that's you know. Yeah. Now, uh, starting with Mark, I just want to ask you, like looking back at the original and then the recording of today. What was your basically your mental process? What was kind of like jumping into it? Did you have any recollection of the song? Uh, I feel like I had a little once we started playing it. Um, I feel like I probably did similar stuff that I did the first time. Yeah, well, but you got I, that moving, walking bass yeah, parts and it's, stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of pretty, you know, straightforward with that. But I, I feel like I did some other stuff. I I don't know, like. I definitely, there there felt like there was a lot more other things going on, so I, I don't I don't think I did quite as much this time base wise as last time. Which okay, I, th I think that was a little toned back, which I think was good. Yeah, we've like, been I writing pop songs all year, man. We're yeah, going, like we're you guys are you guys are a place. different you guys are like a different ball game than the last yeah. time I was here. So for yeah. sure, there's lots of. Lots of well, there was also whistles, different literal structure bells. to the song, too. Yeah, we did switch it up a little bit. <clears throat> I've, yeah, I've been playing tons of piano lately. Yeah. And just writing on piano and, like, having that be, like, my main... I'll do the guitar stuff, too, but I feel like I've been getting into some other yeah, shit. It's man. awesome. And then just, just seeing the big, you know... The big screen and everything. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, the recording. <clears throat> uh, that control room's got... Almost too big of a screen. You it's, pretty, yeah. it's pretty amazing. It's what is it? I, Sixty I, inch? I thought we were in a submarine 55? for a little while. We were. We were. <laughs> Houseboats <laughs> going down. Houseboats going down. Oh lord! Now, Justin, for you, for the drums, <clears throat> do you do you remember anything really last year of last year's recording? Yeah, there were certain things that I was wanted to get into this, and it just didn't fit. Like there's a quicker snare roll. Okay. In one of the uh, fills. But the main thing was is like how it comes in yeah. with those with those hits on the on the uh, ride, yeah. Where it's like the four hits because to me that reminded me of like sleigh bells almost. Yeah. So I wanted to make sure that that was at least in there, so I got that in there. But I mean, last week I was saying that like I'm no good with D beats; it gives me trouble. And then this week it's sort of the same thing. It's a little bit of a faster bluesy. Oh, definitely. But D beat D beat type song. You know what I mean? And it was what much smoother. I don't know if it was because of knowing what we're doing. It's faster than last week's song. Too. Yeah. Too. Yeah, no, I definitely think you fucking crushed it this week. Yo. Yeah, I mean, thanks. you've been fucking crushing it most of the season. Um, I'll tell you later where you didn't crush it. Yeah, all right. I I've, got, know, dude. I've got the progress reports okay, for all this. Cool. Uh, Zach, as far as putting it all together, restructuring it, and, and, and uh, figuring out 
what you wanted to do different. Was there anything that you walked into this going, I know I need to add like these things to it to, well, to I know up I it? I needed to take away stuff from it. Okay. There's too long. There's too many solos. Too many solos. We had two longer breaks, two, like yes. longer drop break. down, and it kind of pulls you out of the song. And a it little was bit. like there were, it was the same three instruments going the whole time. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, I got you got the knob burps. You got the knob burps. Knob burps. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Uh, but you know, once I knew that we were gonna have to do piano and some other stuff on this. Mm. Um. We're just a more confident unit now. Hell yeah, we are. Hell yeah. Uh, I mean, as far as it, what for me, I literally just I had I always have the easiest job in the recordings. I think uh, because I don't know. It's I mean, it's writing lyrics and singing songs, and for me, it's just kind of like all right, I can do that, and and I get a little confident sometimes. And again, with We Three Kings, that kind of bit me in the ass. This yeah, one, I was a little bit music. more nervous about fucking it up because of the We Three Kings situation. Yeah. But once we started going into it, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm literally just kind of... Within that range. Yeah, and going with the same thing that I did last mm -hmm. year. But well, as Zach pointed care. out, that I got a little bit dirtier and I was super creepy. I uh, I think, Mark, you said this I sound like I wear a lot of flames. Yeah, definitely <laughs> yeah. like you had a flame, flame bowling shirt. Yep. You know, yep. very flamed. I yeah. love it. I love it. And Zach totally creeped me out on the bongos. Oh, he just stared you down, <laughs> yeah, man. He did. I will he say zoned out in your eyes. It's it's a pleasure recording here because he's like the easiest like producer. Like oh, yeah. he's like makes super it so like easy. Yeah, And as shit. long as with Zach, the thing is, you know at some point he's gonna go, All right, do it again, just do it better and yeah. you don't yeah, take you got that person. You, killed it, but yeah. you, you it did it really good. Yeah, there's no you can like, do it better. Yeah, he just he makes it real smooth and easy. Let's try to be nice. Yeah. Thanks. You try to be. Thanks. Sometimes you can't be. You it's didn't fun. have to be Papa Jackson about this one, though. You did not have to. You did not have to rape anyone. <laughs> you did not. And that's Sadly, what he's no, that known for. All right. So without any uh, further delay, let's jump into it. Here is the second version. It's, good. it's fully titled Bitchin' Christmas Revisited 2019. All right. There so we go. So there's enough differentiation. Yeah. I like it. So here it is, Bitchin' Christmas Revisited 2019 off of the Christmas 2 album, the final of this five-song album. Yeah. Enjoy. Technically seven. Seven. Oh, yeah. You could do two it, originals. Yeah, two it's originals. Well, this one I think replaces it, maybe. Who knows? Yeah. We'll let you vote after this, see if this kicks the ass of the original version. Mm -hmm. We will be back in, what is it, like three and a half minutes we said at? A little bit less? We were at four minutes solid, almost like a 354 for the original one. It is 3.29. All right, so we, yeah, we trimmed like a half a minute off of that. So here you go, 3 minutes, 29 seconds. The final song of our Christmas 2 album, the final song of Pop Season. Yep. Here it is, Bitchin' Christmas Revisited 2019. We'll see you guys shortly. Bitchin' Christmas, 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 oh. Gonna hop my wheel, gonna pick up my gal, bail to the mill, Christmas time to raise hell. Brother can sing and the girls with him, we've got better plans. Gonna be a bitchin' Christmas, baby, we're gonna make some tracks tonight. Sleep, I got a friend, so you all right. Gonna be a bitch of Christmas, baby. 
thing on my list A bitch in Christmas with my number one bitch I've got one thing on my list A bitch in Christmas with my number one Your fucking nog is right. Yeah. Christmas is getting hot. Christmas is <laughs> oh yeah. When you were just like yeah, just do something like stupid, silly little things in there, and I'm like all right, oh Christmas, Christmas is getting hot, and you guys just fucking lost it. And who'd you say that Vince Neil? <laughs> yeah, <I think>. <laughs> baby, <laughs> baby, <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, if you enjoyed that and you want to hear it again but slightly different again, go back into the Brunch Weekly original singles all the way yeah. back to the second one posted from last year, yeah. and you'll be able to check out that and then compare it. And you know what? If you don't like either of them, check out Satan Baby. You'll yeah. probably like that one. Yeah. But, uh, or yeah, I think, I think, the other Christmas songs we did. Yeah, the other, the other <laughs> ones that we've already done. We've already the done. four ones we it did It should this year. already be on your playlist. If it's not, uh, you're, again, you're failing. Uh, but you can add it. You've got a, a week until Christmas. I think the second song was my favorite. The second one of the last set. Was that the Funkin' set? Christmas? No, uh, uh, Funkin' Christmas was the first the one. The first one. The second one was the crooner one that the we crooner. did. Oh, yeah, the crooner yeah, yeah. Christmas song. Yeah, that was good. I think that was definitely my best performance vocally that I've done in a while on this show. Uh, but that's just kind of more my natural register and my natural way of uh, singing yeah. Um, but yeah definitely I think I think we nailed it guys Christmas 2 is officially a success yeah. so yeah big round of applause yeah. to ourselves there you go Bravo. good job yeah. us good yeah. job yeah. us yeah yeah, yeah. and then don't forget yeah. drink yeah. your fucking nog the name brunch will be synonymous with Christmas oh, it will be. <laughs> everyone you will love Christmas brunch <laughs> oh, damn it <laughs> yes. damn it all right, so uh, before we get into our main topic uh, for the night, uh, I brought this up to all of you already. We kind of talked, to, uh, spoke about it a little bit earlier. They announced uh, the release dates for two Keanu Reeves movies, The Matrix yep. 4 yep, yep. and John Wick Chapter 4. They are both going to be coming out on May 21st of 2021, so about a year and a half from uh, right now, you'll be getting that. And I'm just curious which one you guys think, uh, Mark, I'll start with you. Which one do you think is going to be the bigger box office success? Which one do you think will, do you think it'll be an even thing? Or do you think one will blow the other out of the water between The Matrix and John Wick? I think John Wick. Mm -hmm. I mean, I... I gotta be honest. I've never seen a John Wick movie. Okay, I've they're seen incredible. parts of. Like, yeah, one. they're so I'm, much fun. I'm not trying to avoid them. I yeah. just, it just hasn't happened. Same yeah. thing. It just hasn't happened. All of a sudden, yeah. three of them were out, and everyone's telling me they're the greatest yeah. action movies. I'm like, oh, they're like, yeah, they're the action movies that define the decade. And I'm like, how did I well, miss you don't, that? You don't expect it. Mm -hmm. You know yeah. what I mean? Like you, like when I went into it, I was like, okay, Keanu, it's gonna be like the Matrix. You know, yeah. not, I mean, yeah. not like the Matrix, but it's gonna be of that quality. You know, like. Those style action scenes, whatnot, but then it's like, way okay, different. Keanu killed three hundred people in this movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here it's really fucking intense. It's um, crazy. Yeah, so, I I always mean to see it. I just haven't. Yeah. But I think that's more people at this. I don't think anybody. I said before. I don't think anybody was clamoring for another Matrix. No, movie. no, no. Most yeah. people wrote it off uh, on. on the I was I was third good one. with yeah. yeah. I mean, I was good with one. Yeah, yeah. I was good with one. Yeah. And I Matrix wanted was to right. see, yeah. And Matrix. And Matrix was cool. I wanted to yeah. see where the story went, but as I was saying uh, when I was talking about it with Justin, the first one's a lot of dialogue and setting up a world, and so you get kind of immersed in it more, kind of like Fellowship of the Rings. Like sure. you're, if you've never heard anything about Lord of the Rings and you watch that, 
and you can sit through the three hours that it is. There's a big difference between Lord of the Rings and that, though. Peter oh, Jackson actually delivers yeah. on the visuals. But I'm and saying the, the second and the third the have a lot more action. And the action. second Matrix is sure as hell no two times. Oh, no, it's no. not. But there's a lot more action in that way. The, the first one's setting up the world, sure. and there is action for both of them. There is action. But with the Matrix, it's Neo learning everything, and you are in, he's your eyes into this world. The second and the third one, you're like, all right, I already get this. Now you have to build off of this world. And I don't really feel like they built it. In I a, sort of think in, they in, pigeonholed in, themselves. They pulled the Superman on themselves yeah. where maybe they should have extended the second movie out where he's not as powerful as he is. Because at one point... Because he's literally just flying around. Point, well, well, at yeah. the end of the, that one, he's flying around. But in the like the very beginning of that, he's fighting like 300 Agent Smiths. And yeah. it's like, what the fuck is this shit? And another thing with that, it's like the, the quality of the... The visuals, I feel like, got worse as the well, thing yeah, went on. Yeah, it didn't hold up. Like, one was made, what, they were doing, like, late 90s tech that they were using? I think they were trying to Well, do you know how they shot they that one, right? Oh, that one's like a 360 the, camera that, well, like, not, slowly it's not three, rotates it's not a 360 around the camera. room, right? It's multiple cameras set oh. up at different oh, okay. heights that go off at different times. So, it They're literally, literally taking is like, pictures. Yes. Yeah. Yep, it's not a camera that runs around. It's literally different cameras filming at different times. And, yeah, they fucking crushed it with the first one visually, but then it it kind of felt like, okay, we already saw this, and it didn't get any better. And, yeah, maybe, Mark, what you were kind of saying, maybe they were pushing themselves to kind of outdo it. Or that was, what, uh, Warner? Was that Warner Brothers that released that? I'm not sure. It might have been. It It was Warner. Maybe, Maybe they got... Forced into oh we yeah, got, we got a CGI was, yeah. we got a CGI team that's gonna do it great don't worry about it okay cool I, I you know what I mean what is, like, what yeah. is, is it a sequel to Matrix Three are they gonna pull the Terminator on us and like oh, I don't know because, because like, everybody is like story, Neo is dead the way the story it is is yeah. though that there were multiple Neos multiple times. They could just do we'll just a Terminator on it, it yeah. and be like, well, 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 throw out two and three. This is actually the sequel to one. Yeah. Sort of like You're what like, we were right. talking about. We'll be okay with that. I sort of like yeah. what we were talking about where, you know, the th- one theory could be that he's actually in the Matrix mm-hmm. now, like Agent Smith, and his his soul is in the Matrix, oh, yeah. not so much his body. Or they could pull a... I'm uh, definitely going to see it. Yeah, well, I'm going to see it, <laughs> yeah. too. I think they could also pull the, uh, it was all a dream type of thing. It's like the whole original trilogy took place in the Matrix, within the Matrix, yeah. and yeah. like... Then you're like, okay, how or deep do we go with this? Or that's his warning sign. He's yeah. actually a baby in the first three, and it's 35 years later. Yeah, or I was saying you know he dies, I mean? and it is a whole the one Jesus thing, and this takes place three days after he dies, and he comes back. Maybe. And it all starts off from there. But with the momentum... Did he actually die? Did we actually see that. him die, though? Did, was, did we see the body? I don't remember, honestly. Yeah. I don't remember. I don't it's it's go kinda, back and watch I think they the just Matrix drove a pla- uh, ship into the mainframe of some shit. Okay. Now, I mean, I think we're all kind of in agreement, though, that that it's been a long time, and as Mark said, nobody's really been clamoring for this. Unless so the all preview kind of think John like Wick blows Four is away. probably going to well, take I'm it at the box put, office. I'm going to put money on that Matrix gets delayed. Delayed, and probably. they don't come out on the same day. Okay, yeah. all right. But is if it they, the same company putting both? I don't think up? so. I do not think so. I probably for, Warner for one, and yeah, I forget who I forget who's putting out the John Wick. On the other one. Um, but uh, the, the add on to this is there. He's also in the midst of filming Bill and Ted. Bill and Ted, yeah, yeah. and that one is going to be called Bill and Ted Face the Music. Is the name of the movie. Mm-hmm. And do you think if all three of those movies were to come out on the same day, Matrix, Bill and Ted? And, Bill and John Ted. Wick. Do you think Bill and Ted would beat it? Oh, by far. Yeah, I think they've they've got more time to have accumulated more fans. So there's that. But also, this is like people have wanted this. People so really long. You wanted bring this. Your kid, like you could bring your kids to a Bill and Ted. Yeah, movie, though, yeah. Because most of the They're bad, PG, naughty, weird shit's gonna right over oh, their yeah, head. Yeah, yeah. yeah they I might mean, have they'd been be like, PG-13, "Why are you taking me to this movie?" But, but yeah. yeah, you you well, don't it's, it's probably for fans. Won't bring. Yeah. The kids to John Wick, you know? Uh, no, Probably no, not. No, I will not. Well, I mean, you let them listen to this show, so you might as well oh, yeah. also yeah. Well, drinking, I, swearing, and murder. I, I keep you... everything out except for the swearing. Okay. I just let them listen to the swears. Just the swears. Oh, okay. the swears. Yep. Ah, come back in, they're cursing again, kids. <laughs> no, he literally just sits there and cuts all of it. <laughs> yeah. like, here's yeah. 15 minute. Here's just a 15, 15 minute show. Yeah. Uh, just fun, 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 fun. <laughs> yep. I feel like it might be longer than 15 Probably. minutes. <laughs> it uh, might that would be. be awesome. I feel like it'd be a lot of Zach. A lot we, of Zach. We yeah. need a super cut of just every time just I curse. swear. Well, literally, <laughs> there is one where you just go fuck, 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 you know, like that real quick. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that's how we can start. We could bookend it with that, you know? Um, 
Damn. We were talking about it before too. Death is going to be back in. They just released yep. a photo. Yeah, they Dean just put out a photo. Uh, what was Bill it? Uh, Bill Sadler, I think, was the name of the actor. Uh, I, forget, I forget. I think that was what his name was. Adam uh, Sandler. Adam uh, Sandler. Is it the same <laughs> guy that played Death is playing him. Oh in yeah. This one. Oh nice. Um, but they, yeah, they released a picture of the two of them facing was, him, so you kind of get like a profile of the two of them, and then they released a picture of Bill and Ted in the phone booth. Yeah, um, uh, William Sad- William Sadler. Sadler. Sadler? Sadler. Sadler. Okay, yeah, that's Sadler. what I thought. Okay. Um, Bill Hader. No. Um, People are pissed I'm about in. Carlin, you, but what are you going to do? They said yeah, they're already going to explain dead. it. Yeah. They yeah. said they're already going to explain it. A whole car. And you can so do people like, that are like, oh, it's not going to be the same. Like, well, of course it's not going to be the same. Do, do you want to watch the same movie? Just watch the original they movie. They could always then. hologram. Rufus. I was going to say, well, they just hologram. Yeah, they could. Yeah. They and could. Or just get somebody that looks enough like him and then, yeah. Just Actually, what they should I hope. Mace? What? Martin Mull? Yeah. No, I oh, hope totally. what they do is they go wow. old school and make him look like a like a 16 bit version of himself. Okay. Like, just, like, a little thing that pops up. And then just splice dialogue from everything. Yeah. Like, what do we need him to say here, cunt? Oh, we got that. Yeah. We got that on his old record. We've got it. We've got that word there. Yeah. We're good. That's yeah. all. He just only says the seven words that you can't say on television <laughs> yeah. throughout the entire movie. It'd be phenomenal. I don't think he's swearing. Ooh, they could well, just there was do no a swearing in that movie, version. was it? Ooh. Just a, a weird propped up version of Carlin. Was there any cursing in that movie at all? Uh, I feel like maybe I feel like, like that's a kids movie. It's pretty, yeah. But it's also late eighties where PG movies were more like a PG thirteen, so you well, might I mean, be getting away with like cursing, like, like yeah, like saying bitch like or damn shit or, yeah, or damn. Yeah. I don't think that I don't they think did there's any them. hard fucks. I don't think there's a there's definitely no visual hard fucks. Yeah. Um, so Bill and Ted don't do it. They don't at all. Man, they I want to see in that movie. either of the movies. <laughs> Bill and Ted do it. They don't do it at all? With people, I don't think Bill so. Bill and Ted fist That must have been fan fiction. That must have been I fan fiction that you wrote. Oh, I saw it in my own head. Yeah. Bill and Ted's yeah. Bogus Sex Journey <laughs> by Mark Miller. Through yes. the years. Moment time. Uh, they went back and they, they went and had sex with that Joan of Arc girl. <laughs> they did, well, which is historically weird. She well, was like 14. Yeah. All, right, All right, so well, the main we'll topic that we're going on. into tonight, um, this Thursday... Uh, the final installment of the Skywalker yeah. saga is being released in theaters. Uh, it is episode nine, yep. Rise of Skywalker. All of us in this room. I will room, be seeing it the following week, probably. You'll be seeing it. We are definitely, Justin uh, has to work, unfortunately. To work. So uh, Zach and I are going to be going on uh, Wednesday or Thursday night with a couple of you know, our brothers, a couple of friends, and Mark, you're going to see with a the kids. A couple brothers and a couple, couple of brothers. Couple brothers. Couple brothers, couple couple brothers, brothers, and couple brothers, right. couple friends. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm taking my kids on Friday morning. Hell yeah. 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 It's going to be awesome. Now, um, what... What do you, what do you feel are the things that you you think that maybe you need to get out of this, or you think that the fans deserve to get out of the storyline wrapping up? Is there anything that you uh, and, and this is for everybody? Is there anything that you are hoping gets resolved, whether it's raised parentage or or anything like that, or are you kind of just like do the movie? What I want, wow me, and then is I'll walk I want away. It to be Ray actually is evil. Okay. And Palpatine has been like had some sort of control. That uh, Palpatine pops back up because obviously there is the laugh in there. And they're, not they're, they're not going to do that. Ray is like a is like a hero to like small girls. Yeah, yeah I, 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 like, I get it. And at this point, she's basically she, a Disney princess. She's a Disney princess. Yeah, oh yeah. You see video of little girls walking around Disneyland. Yeah, but you and also Ray comes up and they fucking lose. Although it. Star Wars is you different, also, man. You My kids like Darth forget, Vader and Kylo Ren more than yeah, but true. they're not going to make her evil. At yeah, the but end. you also you can forget make, they make Darth Vader good. At the end of him being fucking mm-hmm. evil, they're not going to make. They're well, more that, likely going to do that with Kylo Ren than. Do that's what. That, that, <laughs> but but my whole thing is, is I want her to be evil, especially from seeing those. Uh, those the things. shot with her. And you're with also the, forgetting the that the uh, company that uh, dealt with misery and still does with misery on a daily movie basis. Toy Story has been oh, fucking yeah. dark. Bambi, any of those fucking movies, Dark Cauldron. The first ten uh, minutes of Up. Literally the most like, depressing opening of or, a children's Or what movie. I think they're but, going to do but is they don't turn their princesses evil. Now, they, they could have going off of Justin's idea a little them. bit. What they could do is have it be a Luke going evil to kind of like save Vader type of I thing. Mean, Maybe that she was goes a story line. in the vein of yeah, goes yeah. after him. Looks like they're going to team up. Because they kind of teased them teaming up a little bit when Snoke gets killed in, mm-hmm. in episode eight. Um, so you could have she... 
halfway through the movie has gone evil and everyone's like what the hell like she's wearing all black blah, blah, what blah. if she's Palpatine and the then, time? Well, remember then, Luke was yeah Luke wore black all of Return of the Jedi yeah like that was sure. his I'm now a Jedi Knight look yeah. it didn't mean he was evil it was just more he was I, think it's more I feel the like red I don't know, maybe just as a kid it's I always just saw it, him yeah. in black and went okay the, the second saber, you put I'm somebody in black you're trying to show that they're like evil or, or gone to the dark side so they could do that um, Mark threw out this uh, theory earlier uh, that Ray could be a Palpatine clone that Anakin could have been a clone that like sure. there's the cloning ability I so, think like, episode one Anakin is a clone you think he's a clone at yeah, that point probably. yeah well cause he has no dad yeah you know, and and he just came and, you know. And has the highest midichlorian really, levels that anybody's Palpatine, ever seen. Palpatine already gives away that, he was, that he was learning about, you know, I mean, be, beyond even if you take the, the cloning out of it, like he he was working on reincarnation with, with his, his lord. Yeah. And then on top of it, then he has access to the clone, yep. the cloning. So... He could have gone back and and done that and cloned him in the first place, knowing full well that and, he was gonna be, you know. And we already know that storm, stormtroopers are all clones at that point. You at know what that I mean? Point, yeah. yeah. I mean, but but I mean, we've seen cloning facilities, but they've never really touched on it other than, you know, the Clone War stuff. Right. You know what I mean, in the other so, canon, though, like in comics and stuff, they they touch. Well, they on... they do, but I'm saying in a movie format. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm not trying to go into depth on yeah on comics and stuff because that's a different route. I don't remember what they've made what fodder they've kept, yeah, and what's and canon yeah, yeah. and like there's so much shit. Um, but that Bound could be totally a thing. I mean, we did hear his <laughs> la- we did hear his laugh, but that they better just pay be... off on him. Like yeah. that's like that. My all I care about. At, at this point, with like the trailers and everything, I better get more than just Palpatine laughing for a second. True, yeah. and like if, if he doesn't you, show up, if you look at it, he is in the first original trilogy and then the prequel trilogy. He is constant. He is yeah, there. Sure. He is always there. And he's awesome, and he's such a good bad he's guy. He's awesome. the best baddie. Yeah. So he is the the best. To tease right. the best parts of the to tease one, him in two, this, three. Oh yeah, and you're bringing well, the end of the like Skywalker the yeah. franchise or the yeah. Skywalker like Jar Jar saga. Binks. Jar Jar Stop Binks, it. I love Jar Jar Binks, but only the theory that he was supposed to be evil, and yes. that would have been a way better version. Yeah. Um, no, he did bring apart. Now, would, uh, Empire, besides so. Palpatine, because they've already you know kind of more or less confirmed that we're getting Palpatine in some way. Um, there are certain angles of the preview that people have dissected, and they've gone, "This is where it's him," and it's like you know she's looking up at him in this situation, and blah blah blah. Are there any other characters from the past? We're already getting him. We know we get Billy D. Williams. Is there anybody else that you are hoping makes a return in the final installment of this saga? I mean, who who are we missing? Well, I mean, Boba they've, Fett would be one, but I don't think we're ever. They've see thrown him. out a lot of these. rumors that uh, Hayden Christensen might be back in this movie, whether it's just as a Force Ghost type of thing at one point. Or he could have right. more of a, a, of a I, role. Maybe it's flashbacks. I don't know what they're planning on doing. Can I just say I hope they don't fucking do what they did with the the shit with Yoda and stuff <coughs> this last well, this last movie? It was the most yeah. ridiculous you fucking didn't like thing. That? I thought it was so dumb, man. What having him like, just show up and like having him show up to f- fucking bl- shoot down lightning and then start laughing his ass off? Like I, I don't know. There were certain I felt scenes that was that. more in tune with original Yoda that we got in the first. Sure, like, I, I do like, agree with that. Puppet. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do agree with that, but then there was also fucking weird scenes. Like, what was the deal with the milk scene? Dude, Last Jedi oh. could have been a good movie. It could have been if a great you cut movie. out about a half an hour. Sure. Yeah, like, yeah. Sure. and a lot of a lot of him sucking milk out of a tea, and and yeah, the Yoda like, stuff the was fuck a little was, dumb. You know. The, the, the I mean, that was, thing, that was fan, that was prequel, that was fan that was, Yeah, the casino was, was felt so straight prequel. up. Like, the races, it's like, if you're going to yeah. do something with races, I get that they use the animals in that and everything, but why couldn't it have been pod racing if you're going to bring mm-hmm. something and like that? And that's what that? scares yeah. me about, like, the... Pr- the like trailers now, like showing them all riding whatever those horses are. Like, yep. What is this gonna be? Yep. What Space is, horses, man. Oh man. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I so don't mind keep Finn, horses but man, they put... out of Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, come I mean, on, it's not horse wars. I mean, are you excited? Wars. Are you excited for this to finally be over, and then they can, you know, with the Mandalorian introducing things and coming out, that Star Wars as a movie. S- Will yeah broaden. move on behind, but be, yeah I, I, I think Skywalkers. I'm ready I think I'm ready to move on yeah, yeah. I'm, I am also thing. definitely ready to I move think it'd be better for the franchise because people won't nitpick as much well yeah. I thought that they were gonna with I thought when they were doing this it was going to be like okay we're gonna continue the storyline 
you know, we would see characters die off and mm-hmm. that would suck. Instead of just keeping yeah. people, yeah, people on all life. of the fucking yeah. time, the like, yeah. like, you know, give us a new storyline. Even if Ray made it two movies and then passed the reins, like, you know, started training and passed the reins mm-hmm. on to other people. Whatever the fuck it might have been, you know, I I'm just ready for a yeah. new story within the universe. I'm, I'm way more open, like, watching The Mandalorian, I'm way more open to, like, it doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah, no, I, I find myself way less picky with it. Like, I like some episodes more than others, but even still, did you like I'm this just, last one? Yes, I did. I liked it a lot more than than the one before. Actually, wait, the one before there was the one before where he's helping out the other bounty hunter and gets yeah. screwed over, and then there's the one on that. See, I like that one. No, too. that one was good. I didn't love the fourth episode. The fourth the, episode, the one, the the one where most of people didn't like it. Yeah, yeah. that but was I didn't a Star Wars episode. Just, or that was a Star Trek episode. It was yes. definitely a Star My Trek. My only episode. issue with that is. If you're going to do one shots, don't give me just eight episodes. Yeah. Because yeah. it's like, how am I supposed to get... We, we live in, in a time where, like, like overarching stories are are fine. Everybody yeah. does it. Yep. Like, you can't just give me eight episodes of, like, one shot procedural. Yeah, you're, well, you don't, you like, don't you're giving think me that, CSI Star Wars. Yes. Well, listen, yeah. you don't think that they are smart enough to set up a Yoda character or the baby uh, for you know, what... I think he's the Mandalorian, actually. Wait, really? what? Maybe. Wait, say this? Like, maybe maybe really he's the star. I mean, that, that oh, could very oh, well... Like, oh, eventually, okay. like, that could the Mandalorian very well be Mando will die, and, then and the Yoda baby character Yoda, will start wearing yeah. the armor. That could very well be possible. Weird. But and either he's way, the star of the Mandalorian. Um, that would be insane. But, I mean, Everybody you don't think... Anyway. Short. You well, don't think well, that... That uh, covers his whole body. You can melt that stuff down and redo it. True. You don't think that That'd they're going to set up something and now that the... the Legacy is done to introduce another Yoda style character, or at into least anybody else universe. from this yeah. this uh, series. Like they should be, if they're smart and like you're saying with with Skywalker's well, coming they brought to an in, end. They, they showed that there's plenty of Mandalorians left. Oh yeah, right, yeah. Right. But they with the Skywalker uh, saga coming to the well, to an end. Then. This is well, yeah, because yeah. this is before the seven eight nine. This all takes place yeah. before yeah, seven eight nine. I mean, but that we don't have any. We don't know if. Anything happened, but to going for him. Right, but I'm right. saying going I mean, forward, you could take any there. little minor character that is used in this, and then pull them into another story. At line, least to set saying. up a new story. Yeah, oh, of course. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Well, and especially yeah. if you have a, a baby, whatever Yoda's race is, keep calling it Yoda. Well, the, the, yeah, uh, that's all we as a force user, you call it baby it's Yoda obviously or baby a force Yaddle. user. Those are your options right now. It's obviously a force user, unless yep. we find out, unless they do some weird tie-in where you find out that. Palpatine has been cloning, and Yoda's smart enough to be cloning. You know what I mean? I have so heard that. Technically, I don't know if he would throw that out. Yoda. Or that is a possibility too. And that's and he got kidnapped, and that's why they're going after him because there is knowledge yep. of his existence and, and everything. And once you know, once the Empire's gone, then you know the only people that were looking for him were old Empire. Yep. Right, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So about yeah. yeah, Werner Herzog and all that. Yeah. Which I think he was definitely the weakest character. Yeah, I mean, he's I mean, he he just guys like job. Apollo. Or? He did his job. Wait, he did Apollo. Yeah, Carl Weathers. Oh, oh yeah, 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 Apollo. Yeah. Right. See, once he got to the nineties, um, after that, and Jackson. after <laughs> after uh, Predator, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, no, he's Chubbs. Yeah, yeah he's yeah, Chubbs. Yeah, like yeah. old Carl Weathers is Chubbs. Like that's what True. he is to me. To the point this. where it was probably only like four or five years ago that I realized. That he what that that was the same dude. Oh yeah, because he gets so old in a decade. He does. Yeah. Like, yeah. He, Wasn't he in Arrested Development? Yes, yeah, yeah, he has himself. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he gives himself. acting lessons. Yeah, 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 he just yeah, yeah. eats everybody's food. He's <laughs> yeah. hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. him and Scott Baio oh. are the best at that. Oh, what was he? Bob Blah Blah. Bob Blah Blah. And he has the Blah Blah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's Bob Blah Blah's Blah Blah. Yeah, yeah it's fucking phenomenal. Oh, that's so good. But I I like that. Um, I've heard some people bitch about with the Mandalorian bitch about the. Uh, the Nick Nolte character, I thought that was fucking awesome. It was great. Well, Nick I was, Nolte's I was great voice, great I voice. I was complaining about the character. Oh yeah, because it was you. My whole thing, I don't know. I just didn't. I, I don't know. There was something I didn't like. It about didn't the hit character. the right chord with you. I think it was more a I cartoonish type of thing. I don't know. It was just weird. But I mean, at the same time, there's so many weird little things in Star Wars. Oh yeah, and it's just a different kind of. I was telling my mom to watch it. Cause she likes Star Wars. Yeah, but I was like, you'll really like it because it's got a little bit of like a Walker Texas Ranger. Oh, for it. sure. Kind of. Yeah, well, I it's think a Western. That's it's yeah. got you know what I mean. It's got that like what <laughs> what adventures are you gonna get into this week? Yeah, and I think my like, biggest got, problem. It's got a little of that. Yeah, I think my biggest problem with the Nick Nolte character is, is you have somebody you have a bunch of people who are like 
that this is the way, and then I have spoken. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, it was yeah. so much too in the same vein, and I'm just like, uh, all right, whatever. Yeah. So why, why is this Mandalorian really listening to this dude? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Oh, out of he necessity, does seem to, really. But he does yeah. seem very... He goes very quick between, like, I'm super tough and don't get to, like, oh, yeah, what do you need? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, you, we want to join up? Can, yeah. we, can we be yeah. buds? I yeah. love you. Yeah. Like, like way too fast. Sure. That's the other thing. I feel like... I mean, you sort of have to with eight you, series. That's what I'm saying. Like, you don't... Eight episodes. You're not, like, building up the character because you're doing all these, like, one-shots... But you only have eight yeah, episodes. Every episode, well, I don't think like, that you're supposed team. to get attached to anybody but the Mandalorian. Yeah, but yeah. I'm not even getting attached to him. No, well, I think he's a great character. I like him, Yoda. but I'm like, yeah. I'm not. No? Thanks to the internet. I mean, I mean, I guess in the same sense, you're not really killing, supposed to get... It's getting a little overdone. Yeah. I, I think in, maybe in the same sense, you're not supposed to get attached to him. He's a yeah, bounty maybe, hunter. Yeah, it's just, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Again, I like it. I think it's really good. Yeah. Like, I mean, I'm excited you, for them to see m and do more yeah, serious type stuff. Yeah, the series, do you I'm think... I'm looking for the Obi-Wan. Do you, Obi-Wan is literally the thing that I, I'm i so happy they resurrected that, because what's the whole, like, Oh, they'll the probably Solo do a Boba movie. Fett as well Well, now. when Solo failed, and everyone, they're like, oh, oh shit, we shouldn't Which really... Which sucks, because that movie was good. It was good. It was, good. was good. And you brought back Darth Maul. Thank you. Yeah. Um, like, and now we're just not going to get anything else from that, because it bombed so terribly. Uh, I think they were just stacking so much shit on top of but shit. But after that, they canceled all of the single standalone movies... Well, and then they started developing stuff for the sh for the series. So I think now that Mandalorian is doing as well as it, it is doing. But here's the thing. And I mean, you have your own streaming platform. You're going, yeah, oh, definitely. But you're going to now be able to just go, okay, like, you want to do the Boba Fett or Jango Fett? Or you want to do well, I, a I think Jabba the story? Like, that, that take it and just, like, run with it in that in that vein. Do you think that they are going to stick more with serialized stuff over the next couple of years before yes. they break before out? Before they go into a big ass story. Yeah. Because they've already yeah. fired the people from Game of Thrones from doing uh, I don't Star know Wars. Why they hired them in the first place? Because of Game of Thrones before the finale of Game of Thrones. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean that kind of like that put a bad taste in everybody's mouth. And they're just kind of like, all right, no. Because they were no. ready to be on with, with, with and maybe Solos. even with what's her face, uh, Khaleesi being in Solo. Maybe they're like, maybe Game of Thrones shouldn't mix with Star Wars at all because yeah. it's just like Although the bad luck. Too. She was great. Again, I mean, that movie, that but, movie gets such a bad rap. You know man. why, right? Because you have three main movies that were, or well, two main storyline movies that were so so for people. And then you had one that people love. Like, uh, Rogue One was amazing. Rogue That's the best great. new Star Wars. Yes. Right. Yes. So you have two streamlined movies dies. based on the, the original lore that people are like, I'm so excited. Rogue One, or we saw the first one, Have Hopes. Rogue One, awesome. And then... Uh, the Ryan Johnson, Last Jedi. Last kind of Jedi, and it was like, oh, off. fuck, okay. And then Solo comes out and people are like... Did you guys like Force Awakens, uh, though? I like for I yeah, like I all did. of them. I, thought it was really I mean, I, I like have no problem them. with those two. I, I'm saying in a mass scale. Yeah, when I you have two movies much. that people much. are nitpicking yeah. so much, and then you release something where a character doesn't necessarily look the same. Uh, you know what I mean? When yeah, people the director start picking, change. You have oh there, my there's god, stuff leaking like out about you had movie. The, yeah, they hired an acting so coach for the for the guy playing Han Solo. Like so immediately, people are just like, "Yeah, I'm done." Like I'm been disappointed by Star Wars for the last how many years now? Yep. So fuck it. And I'm for a lot of people, it's been 20 years. I've been disappointed by Star Wars since fucking Return of the Jedi came <laughs> oh, out. You know what? Before you were born. My take is these people get so pissed off about this stuff. Because, yeah. because they don't get what they want. But it's That's like the problem. Just, but, but enjoy the story. Be it's, happy it's, you're getting exactly. anything. Yeah. You got... So you grew up loving this, this franchise. Mm -hmm. And now... You've gotten a total of 11 movies. Yeah. yeah. With a 12th one on the way, right? No, this is the 11th yeah, one. This on the is, way. Yeah, this yeah. Well, is And a TV show. And and more in, in the works. Yeah. You can literally you have a platform where you can literally sit down and watch every oh, Star Wars Clone thing. Wars. And yeah, Clone all Wars, Wars cartoon, Rebels. all the animated, yeah. You have all this stuff. But all you do is go on the internet and bitch and complain because it's easier and to now thanks and to you I don't get an Obi-Wan movie yeah. yeah but honestly I mean I'm looking forward to the show but thanks to you I don't get that because yeah, maybe Solo just didn't I'm, do it for but me maybe I'm, the happy, I'm happy that it's going to be a series because I think it's it's going to give them the option to do an overarching storyline yes. with that I'm like, happy not, you and McGregor is involved one yeah, yeah, I mean the whole thing. All you really is, needed to do yeah. was put him in a desert. Is that yeah. is that official? Though? That is official. That, that's that's the next. I mean, do you yeah. think maybe they thought about and there making will be a season two of Mandalorian a too. movie, yeah. and then 
all the streaming stuff happened, and they pulled out using the excuse, well, not that many people liked it. I mean, well, I mean not a lot of people liked mind, it. They get to keep all the but money. But knowing in the back of their mind that they're like, we're just going to make a TV show. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm Disney thinking. Plus. After Solo bombed, they could have just used that during as During Solo, use, yeah. no one had heard of Di- there were, Disney Plus wasn't a thing no. that was going to happen. Was, there was rumors. A year Disney, and a half ago? Disney yeah. might do something. And then... Well, they still had to buy a few other things yeah, like Fox. So it could have yeah. been like yeah. a... Because not you like Solo didn't make Simpsons money. To watch. Solo made a shitload of money. Yeah, not as it much was, as they wanted. It just didn't to. make enough. But it and then made it had a lot, a lot of, money, of backlash. So. Yeah. Also, there was there was so many Marvel movies happening at yep. the same time yep. too. There was such mm-hmm. saturation sure. that yep. like there still is. Are, of course, well, it's not going to stop. I mean, the, the fact that the the end, end game is done is is a big step forward mm-hmm. for that. But, but that's going to happen on Disney Plus too. There's going to be so well, much saturation here, of Marvel here and Star is Wars. My, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Here's my take on the Disney Plus. I'm going to say by the next major Star Wars movie, meaning whatever storyline that they come out with, that's going to get a theater release, but then it's also going to get Drop you can, you can pay to watch it in your home the oh, same day it like goes the, in theaters. Uh, like on demand kind of thing. Yeah. You know why? Because that's 100% pure profit mm-hmm. for them. Yep. Even if they charge $20 or $30 for And you get it for movie, two days type yeah, yeah. of thing. Yeah, yeah. fuck that. I don't want to go to the theater. That shit sucks. Yeah. I don't want to stay home. Any, any day of the week, any movie, if I had a chance between watching it in my own living room and go to the theater. See, I feel I with there's yeah, there's, there's, there's the certain theater. movies I want to see in the theater. Do, the nostalgia side of things. No, I agree. No, I agree. If I had the if I had the option to see it the same day that it comes out in the theater at home, totally. See I'm it just saying home. that for people who can't make it on opening night mm-hmm. to the theater, Fucking it's yeah. extra people, money in their pocket. Yeah. For me, I can't go with you guys because <laughs> no, I'm working. Yeah. Yeah. So if I could come home and be like, "Fuck yeah, I'm gonna go home after work and watch it," and then we can talk about it. Yeah. It makes sense. That's that's my prediction on Disney Plus, okay. and then we're gonna see other services doing the same mm-hmm. fucking thing. All right. So talking about uh, with the with the whole people on the internet and their backlash and everything like that. Um, no matter what anybody does, it's not gonna be good enough. Um, and there are going to be people that love it, but there's no people matter are what, gonna people hate are gonna, this movie. People are gonna shit on it. They do should you? all watch yes, episode one and two again. Yeah. And, and then watch it. Yeah. And then go, you know what? Do you still hate it? Because yeah. you could have more of this. Exactly. Yeah. I, I like episode one and two. I don't. I don't. It's because you're younger. I don't mind my kids, one. My kids I, love that. I stuff. enjoy one. I, I was 14, Return, 13 when it came out. Uh, but uh, uh, Attack of the Clones it's was like, even at that age, I was kind of like, oh, this is bad. This isn't mm-hmm. good. But Phantom Menace, I was like, too much poop all right, jokes. I'm down with this. I'm down yeah. with Phantom Menace. I like the pod racing. I like all of that stuff. I Not do like Star poop Wars. jokes, um, but they uh, poop jokes in Star Wars forever. I know, but too much like too much like it's Jar Jar. Like Jar Jar for me it was Yahoo characters yeah. saying doo doo over and over doo-doo. again. Yeah. Like it's too much. Well, that, do you? That movie is seriously unwatchable. <laughs> Episode think, one is unwatchable. Do you think no. that? Meanwhile, I have to watch it constantly because my kids love it. Well, maybe that's why it's unwatchable because for it's, you, it's, you've seen it so many times. It's made for like a five year. Oh yeah. Yeah. And in kind of, I was reading an article oh, about Lucas, oh, awesome. where where Lucas basically said um, all of the edits and everything that he did were always and the reason like he made Han not shoot first and stuff like that and the re edits yeah. where it was originally supposed to be a movie for kids like the yeah. whole thing so to make the hero kind of a villainous murderous person right off the bat he didn't like so his going back and re editing was to save face on the franchise because he wanted to be a kid's uh, approachable kids thing and so when he came back with phantom menace that was the idea it's going to be aimed at kids it takes place around a kid the other one was a darker time period so that's why it was a little bit darker more Mm -hmm. brooding but this was like okay like he still has hope and he's a child and we all know where he goes the fucking movie poster was a picture of him with his shadow as darth vader like You knew who he was right off of the bat, and you got to kind of watch him slowly. I mean, yeah, morph Star Wars in. is for kids, for sure. sure. Yeah, of course, Star Wars is for kids. The reason, but I the don't... people who get the most angry are fucking lonely, fucking thirty the or year old yeah, men yeah. on the internet. Oh yeah. Now, do you think that this is going to? Do you think that this movie Grow coming up, out? Pussies. Seriously, <laughs> it's just it's just a movie, you fucking bitch. Get well, that's a the job. thing. Just be happy. People are making shit for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. But do you and think it's not with one. all of the negative shit that comes out all the time about everything, especially with Star Wars, do you think this is going to have uh, a? 
not knowing what what we're gonna get, do you feel like this is going to have more of a negative uh, backlash, or do you think people are going to be like, "All right, awesome, we got if what they we don't wanted"? Don't games Game of Thrones it yeah. for most people. Then oh, I'm so be sick fun. of that shit. Yeah. But, People just still being mad. People still talking shit. It's, it's gonna, over. No, no, no. I'm not. I have no problem with Game of, Game of Thrones. I'm know, saying for the mass. They don't completely. For the mass of. But to go along with what you were saying, what you want to happen. If they yeah. turn her if evil. If they turn her evil, they're Game of thrones it. Yeah. Not really. If they turn her evil and have yeah. her end evil, that is literally the Khaleesi turn at the they end of. They ain't turning yeah. her evil. Yeah. I will put money on that. If yeah. they do, they better take one of those space horses and have that space horse grab her body. After whoever kills her when she's evil, and see, I feel, I feel like I feel like I feel like everybody thinks that she's been this great hero, but for the for the last two movies that I watched, she's been the evil one. She's been been more forced on the dark side than Ky- Kylo Ren has. But she hasn't done anything evil. Yeah, yeah. she really hasn't done anything evil, and he well, has. Well, when she jumped in that say, hole, he killed Han no, Solo. No. Like, yeah, yeah he, he killed. I know his he dad. killed his dad. He killed Snow. I know he did. He yeah. killed lots of people. She killed Snow. No, that's him. And no, then she him. reached up and grabbed it. He went like this with his hand yeah, and pulled Snow. the. Yeah, he killed Snoke. He killed Snoke. I'm pretty sure she. Did. Nope. She no. she is laying on the floor. Just got knocked yeah. down by Snoke. I'm he pretty, yeah. literally. No, I'm pretty sure she no. threw it and, co- and called. No, no, no. It is. No. It is I'm almost positive. The lightsaber no. is sitting on the side of Snoke. No. Pull that it is up. sitting Pull on his up, side, buddy. and Kylo does a little finger twitch. And the lightsaber goes on and then rips like right through him. Yeah. And then she reaches up and catches it and then looks at him kind of like, oh, we're doing this together. That's that whole scene. Like, it is definitely not Kylo or not. not I'd also like to him. declare my love for Adam Driver. Just Dude, saying. the guy is an amazing him. actor. I love him, man. He is. And he's uh, really Ray great. Ray killed Snoke. Ray did not kill Snoke. I just looked it up. Ray killed Snoke. Where did you look this up? The Google? Who killed Google. Snoke, Ray or Kylo? Snoke then orders Ren to kill Ray and gloats over sole control of the Apprentice, only for Ren to use the Force to activate Luke's, Luke's cyber. Ren, Ren, not Ren. Ray. Ren. Ren. Just listen. Ren uh, uses the Force to act. Whatever, I'm just... Yeah. Uh, which Ray had been using from a distance... And, sli- and sliced Snoke in half. Yeah, so Snoke. Ren killed Snoke. Kylo Ren oh, yeah. activates the lightsaber and goes right Snoke. through him. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, right. and then she just <laughs> right, grabs right, it right. as it goes flying yeah, through. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Um, so, again, don't think she's going evil. Do you think, uh, box office prediction on this, do you think that this one is going to be the, the highest grossing? Of all time. It's going to be. Yeah, it's going to be. The highest grossing day. Star Wars, for sure, you think? It's going to outgross all of the others. And do you think if it does, will it like break the record and take over Avengers? I think his Endgame might have, or, or I think Endgame has the. So all-time what's the record. highest grossing Star Wars? Is it one of the new it's ones? It's one of the newer ones. It, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's, then yes. Yeah. Then okay. Yes. So you think? I think you know, because they don't take inflation into those. They do. On if you go on certain websites, yeah, it depends like on box what you look at, Mojo, yeah. They will show you the adjusted for mm-hmm. and the not. And usually, because if you adjust for inflation, the highest grossing movie of all times, I'm pretty sure, is still Gone with the Wind. Yeah, I think that's um, right. Yeah. And that was people were paying like a fucking nickel to go uh, see a movie. Nope. A new one is not the... New uh, one is not? No. Nope. A New Hope. New Hope is... The highest... The adjusted highest for grossing. inflation? Adjusted for inflation, 1.6 okay, billion. Okay, Unadjust, Unadjusted is... is uh, four hundred and sixty-one million. Okay. But adjusted as one point. Okay, so it would be it would be okay. a new hope. That's crazy. Force think. Awakens is the second. Okay. Empire Strike Back, Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, Phantom Menace, The Last Jedi, Rogue One, Clone Wars is Revenge the least. Revenge of the Sith, Sith, and Attack of the Clones. Yeah, yeah. Attack of the Clones, I think, is rightfully yeah. so at the bottom of that list. But is that so? Do you find that to be your least favorite of all? Attack of, of the Clones. Yeah, for sure. Really, I despise. And I, see, here's the thing: I've never really paid attention to the animated stuff too much, mm-hmm. so I don't know what lore they've built up in those that might make me I'm understand just starting to or watch those enjoy now, that but. movie. Um, I feel like uh, Dooku is a rushed idea. I think that you had probably in the top five of actors of all time to play a role Mm -hmm. and you wasted the fuck out of him. Mm -hmm. Darth Maul should have stuck through at least two movies, if not Mm -hmm. the whole three. He should have been the bad guy throughout and there should have been a big... And like takedown of Darth Maul and then I step up as Vader. Like that should have been just as big as the Obi-Wan fight. Um, Like he should have killed Maul and then had to fight uh, Obi-Wan. I think that would have been that whole trilogy way better but wow, clones, that would have been good. You should have wrote that. Yeah, clones is just fucking 
terrible and there's way too much like i can understand the midichlorians and all of like the weird religious and and science stuff that kind of like is 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 melded in there but attack of the clones is just too much information it's too much it's too, too much, much bure- it's too much bureaucracy yeah you know oh, what yeah. little kids really like to watch bureaucracy oh, yeah this yeah. is hey how- you want to watch the senate for about two well, hours why, and then that's why you have such a stupid story? character yeah. like jar jar and i'd be like oh well here's the, the comedy yeah. and then if you go off the original or the theory that that keith introduced me to that jar jar was a ri- was supposed to be the original bad guy for mm-hmm. that trilogy that dar or that that he was going to be a, a secret Undercover Sith and That's a good book by the way that that's in. What? It's I think I think that's either in Oh, the theory was from yeah, somebody it's came either up in a book. from a different point of view or it's in one of the aftermath books. Okay. I think it's in from a different point of view. This is the evil Sith Lord. Um, <laughs> all right, it's so a, it's a pretty good book. Yeah. I actually found a better site that adjusted the prices to 2019 ticket prices. Okay. And a new hope is 3.14 billion. Okay. Force Awakens Damn. is two point two billion, but still the same order. Same but, order. But just... here's the thing: the difference between the Last Jedi and Force Awakens is over a billion dollars. Yeah. Damn. Wow. So, I mean, the only thing that they're really going going by the statistics and, and the role that they've been on, yeah, the Mandalorian is going to help them. It's For going sure. to immediately For get sure. people into that. And you're going to see every motherfucking person with a baby Yoda walking into this uh-huh. fucking thing. Yep. Um, it's the equivalent of Pink Cats after a team wins the World Series. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but um, also, the only other thing that they have going for them is it's the end of everything. So that's, and, that's what I, I think that's we'll, the biggest push yeah. for everybody. Because... Do you want to miss it? Do you yeah. want to miss it? And you've given them a chance every single movie. Why are you not going to give them a yeah, chance for one the left. final? One left. One left. After this, like you said before... We can stop bitching as much because you're not fucking with our original, our childhood, mm-hmm. all of that. Um, but the funny thing is, as Zach said, like the the people that are bitching about it, like he's saying, 34 year old guys. Really, those guys are like 50 year old guys, now, 60 year old yeah. guys. Yeah. Yeah. I'm on the young end. Yeah. I'm the same age, basically, as A New Hope. Yeah, A New yeah. Hope came out like maybe six months after I was born. Okay, so right, it was 77. 77, right? 77 yeah. yeah, and yeah. I was born December 76. Yep. So. I'm literally six I'm months. Yeah, pretty much the same age as the new Hope. Yeah. And so you grew up with it already existing. Yes, basically. Yes, the first one that I, I mean, the first one I saw in the theater, unfortunately, was Episode One. I didn't see any of the original. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So not the first like, time when they like re-released six it. With the, yeah. yeah, I saw them on the re-release. Yeah, I didn't. I'm trying to I think went to Fox I, more when, when yeah, I, I might saw have saw the Return of the Fox Jedi. More, yeah. I might have seen Return of the Jedi. My, my family might have taken me to Return of the Jedi. Okay. Because I remember having uh, like a like a shirt like this, but was it was a Return of the Jedi 82? shirt. Yes. Yeah. No, they would have. I would have too young. I'll say 82, 83, I think. I think it's 77, 81, and 83. Empire Strikes Back is 80. 80? 80? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So 80. And I think Return of the Jedi is 83. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, three years in so between I each might one. have gone to that one. Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, I would say. But you would have been six anyway. Yeah. So yeah. I can't see my parents. But the guys that, that are bitching six. about it, like you're ruining my childhood, you know, blah blah. blah. It's like you're 60 years old. Get over yeah, your well, childhood. Like they're you were extending 20. your childhood. They were, you were 20 when the movie came out. You were 15 yeah. when the movie came out. Like it's been 40 years. Get over it, as Zach said. Get over it, pussies. Well, it's like yeah. um, it's like the dudes with uh, the Lion King. When yeah, all your motherfuckers coming but in. Like, now, oh, that's not for you, kids. But as that. Like, as Mark was not uh, raised as a child with the prequel trilogy, and Zach and I, well, Mark and, and and Justin, I mean, you were a little bit. Uh, oh no, I definitely watched it as a kid. I yeah. didn't get to see it in theaters, but by the I'll time I was five, it was on TV. A lot. By the time, yeah, but, but I mean, I'm even before Phantom, that, but by the time Phantom I was five, Menace, they were on VHS in my home. And Phantom I was Menace, all the you were about yeah. seventeen when Phantom Menace oh, I watched came it, out. I watched it in Fox. Yeah, I remember but, when I. But I'm saying you were seventeen. You were a nine-year-old yeah. kid watching something for the first time. So everybody that grew up with Star Wars, the prequels, as their childhood, they're now all in their twenties, thirties. They're all like Zach's age to my age. And so Spice, now, Rodney. yeah, and now you're looking at like, okay, like this was our childhood 17 years ago, and now the movies that are coming out now are other people's childhoods. Mm-hmm. So it's like, you're right, as you my said, kids. Mark. Yeah, your kids, my nieces, my nephews, everything like that. Like, well, I think that's why they did a rehash, sort of. I yeah. think that's why they did it in the the way that they did, mm-hmm. going through that same storyline, sort of. Not the same storyline. Very similar, mirror. At least the things. first one, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, but my so but still having seen them all yeah my oldest son his favorite is episode one yeah 
Well, but that's the mo- he's seven years old. Yeah. What you is your what favorite? My favorite. I mean, it's gonna be cliche, but it's probably Empire. Well, yeah, it's Empire you know, for it's me. Hard, I mean, it's, it's the darkest. It's yeah. I'll tell you it's what. It's got the most. Rogue One might be too. Oh, oh really? yeah, for sure. Really? That's it's a great there, movie. Man. And I really like Force Awakens. Like, I think yeah. it's really good. Force Awakens was fun. It was fun. I mean, that was like a, everybody in the audience cheering for the first time in a movie since I had seen Episode Six or not Episode six, Episode Three. When episode three, like when you finally get Darth Vader right at the end, that was like one of the biggest yep. applause yeah. in a movie theater. Slightly sarcastic from a lot of people. Sure. Going like, finally, we yeah. got there. But that's a good movie. Take yeah. the yeah. Yeah. Good movie. It is good. It um, is good. Uh, there's one thing we didn't touch on that mm-hmm. I think is important. Touch away. Leia. Yes. Because in the last movie... You mean when she flies through space? Uh, ghosts, a well, ghost, well, all right, wizard, all right. Bef- space before princess, all of that, because realistically, dark arts. realistically, in the last movie, did any of that that whole ship shit really need to fucking happen? Like we said, you know what? I said a half an hour. You could probably cut a freaking hour. Yes. Yeah. You know what? Maybe we just but, do that movie. But here's the thing: without Laura Dern. But here is yeah. the thing: her, them yeah. keeping her alive in the universe. Yeah. What for you and you? I mean, for me, I don't necessarily see why they did it. Well, but okay. what do they have to I do I to have kept her alive? I like, what is the payoff for keeping real her Real quick on, on what you were just touching on there before we answer your actual question. The reason that they were keeping her around, because, I mean, she died when the movie, when the part... They were, they were just about done. They were done. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, literally, yeah. So it was they didn't really going out to theaters. In it. Yeah. So they had to stick with what it was. I understand. But I do originally, understand originally, George Lucas's plan and uh, Kathleen Kennedy, that's uh, the producer that came over from and is still with like Lucasfilm, yeah. they said what we want to do, and this is from the 80s was his plan, if we get to do 7, 8, 9, you bring back Luke, Han, and Leia... And each one of those three movies is one is Han's movie, one is Luke's movie, and one is Leia's movie. Yeah, I understand so that. So part nine was always supposed to be Leia's movie. Yeah. And it was already planned that Han will die, Luke will die, Leia will die in seven, eight, nine. So that was from the beginning. She passed away in real life. It kind of sucks because you're like, oh, she's dead in the movie and she's dead in real life. Could you just edit it, it like just keep her dead? Like you, you did well, yeah, yeah, just yeah. keep her just dead. Just, yeah. just then, let it go. Not only did you not something. keep her dead, you had her do something that nobody has ever done in the Star Wars world. Not only that, Fly but she never space. showed any sort of force power. I mean, yes. Sense she's sensitive. A, she, she can is, sense no, no, her no, brother, she, she is. can yeah. sense Darth but, Vader. But I mean, we've never really seen anything like that. And the yeah, pull some gone, crazy like, shit in off in like that. But to be fair, she's never been flies to her space before. True. Yeah, True. Right. You never know. Yeah, um, I've never been exploded to space. I, you know, I can't do that. <laughs> Let's figure it out. True. Let's try to All do right, it. We'll launch it into space. Let's call Elon Musk and see if he can help us out with this. Launch me in space, Daddy. But I, all right. So I <laughs> mean, I can do daddy. it. Well, do you put think? Put me in, Daddy. Launch <laughs> me into space. So today. So knowing that as a as a rebuttal or a response to yeah. to my first part on that. Do you think that they give her the rightfully movie that she is going? I don't that think it they was set up, can. or or is it going to be like okay, she's in the first fifteen minutes and then she's gone now? I, I heard that, that they, would really piss they me off. They use a lot of footage that was unused footage from the first uh, from from seven and eight. Okay, so that is definitely in there. I think that you are going to get a lot of talking about Leia. And maybe maybe it'll they'll, they'll keep her to the end of the movie. Maybe, maybe. they don't. Um, y- they're gonna kill her off in some way. You well, know yeah. that they're unless they were going to do the fucking creepy CG face thing. Well, they definitely are. She's she's in it. She's in it. But the, again, and they've most, already done it with her. They've already one. done it with her. Yeah. But I'm saying most from what I've read, most of the footage that they're using of her in this comes from unused footage of the other movies and maybe a couple of things that they had filmed in anticipation of, you know, the, uh, filming number nine. Um, how they kill her off, when they kill her off, anything like that, I, I have no idea. I mean, Nobody, if it's in, until like it comes if it's out, it's in with know. the first 15 minutes, do you think that they should have did what they did? Um, I think they that means they're painted into a corner and she was dead and the last one was already out and yeah. now we've got to deal with it. So we can either string together a bunch of shitty sections, or not shitty, but string together a shitty bunch of sections, sections that don't necessarily go together yeah. and have to 
like work around that to make the movie or we can go all right this is what we have what makes the most sense to keep her in this movie to have this movie be about her to honor her and then you know we just we she's gone when she's gone See, there that's so the best many we good can do scenes within the first first two movies or the seven and eight yeah that it could have easily been taken care of. Yeah. You know what I mean? Especially right before. And I'm sure Ray... if they knew she was going to die before those movies, well, they I would mean, have been like, well, all right, yeah. well. Oh, I mean, that's with yeah. anybody. I mean, look, Rob Zombie got, I don't want to say screwed because, I mean, Sid, ha- Sid Haig got, got sick. But yeah. he had written uh, Three from Hell based on that character and he got sick and literally couldn't get permission. He got permit like he had to beg the, the, um, I think it, what is it Paramount not Paramount um, Lionsgate or whoever okay. fuck, whatever company it is to be like look we need to clear him he can't be on set like they wouldn't <laughs> clear him to actually film because he was sick but he got like three days to fucking film with yeah, and he's yeah. just like alright well we have to figure out something I haven't here. seen that was it good uh, well you have to figure he was 11 months in the shooting with that character in and Sid Haig was never able to make it on the set so he yeah. 11 months in the filming had to rewrite three or four times yeah ended up coming that it was like sid haig's brother in the movie that was the third from hell and, like it's just a weird fucked up yeah thing you know and i, it I didn't mean, really again, get reception it's you actually get on into a like, corner like that and you have to do something like creative to to, rent, to, yeah, to you know. fucking like that, that's a, a a real test for a writer to be like oh shit this this ball's already fucking rolling down yeah. the hill and i gotta like fucking adjust it while before everybody you know is really pissed off at me or before the whole thing just goes off the rails and we, we can't do anything with it at all and it just gets scrapped that's a really tough corner to get painted into sure. and if you look at jj abrams job coming out of episode eight to try to fix people's expectations to try to uh give everybody the movie that they deserve the movie that he wants to make and now also not be able to do the original storyline probably not maybe not at all but Hey! To hey! cat. I can't. There's a. <laughs> You're not gonna get her out of there, dude. I know, but she's just destroying everything we. Fucking Wasn't it his no, job I have in the first place to produce all of them? Like to produce? Yeah. Like wasn't he same. supposed to be like? Like, oh, J.J. Abrams is in charge, so we're in good shape. He was supposed to be like the Joss so, Whedon of the situation. So, yeah. so maybe he shouldn't have cast or shouldn't have gotten Ryan Johnson in the first place. It would have made more sense to let J.J. Abrams so, or have J.J. Abrams do the whole thing. So J.J. Oh. Abrams, Abrams has this task of fixing what the guy that J.J. Abrams brought in. And originally it was supposed place. to be another director doing this one. Yeah. So it was supposed to be set up the way that, uh, that 4, 5, and 6 were. Lucas, and then two different directors after that. And so Abrams was going to be in the Lucas chair and then sit back and help with the story and the producing and everything and then let two other directors kind of run it. I think the main difference is they let Ryan Johnson run away and do what he wanted to do, which, good for him. Good for him. I really really enjoy some of the, the less popular choices that he made. Like, I like the weird communicating between Ray and Kylo. Oh, like that's so good. Like, that stuff's awesome. But you think again... they go into that more in this movie? Maybe, maybe, maybe they I'd do. i down for that. Like, I think that's a totally fine... Uh, do you think his chest was prosthetic? Or oh, was no, that is there? 100% driver right there. My that is God. fucking absurd. He's like... He's built like a man from 1955 that's like a it's professional fucking bodybuilder. I never saw a torso builder. with so much boobs. This, Sorry, yeah. Listen, Kat, you're really messing no, up. No, I threw that at her. Yeah. Hey, come get it. Come on, kitty. Come get it. Come get it. Come get it. Oh. You're the new star. You're oh, the new star. Look at you. You're Lucy, star. she needed to make one more yeah. appearance before the season wrapped yeah. up. Yeah, episode nine. All right. Yeah. The Lucy Walker. Yeah, the Lucy Walker. All right. Well, to wrap, wrap, wrap it up on this, um, wrap, 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 wrap it up your dick. Um, do you <laughs> we're all going to see the movie we're all uh, highly anticipating the movie yeah. um, do you think there's any way that it is worse than Last Jedi no no you don't I think don't it think is so. nope nope, nope. Okay. I think they're gonna look at, uh, at what people are like what the fuck I think this is going to be the best one of the new ones cause Force Awakens is pretty much hey fans here's some fan service for you. Yeah. Welcome back to the world you loved. And now this one is going to be hey. like, all right, fans, wrapping it up. We're sorry about that. Well, so you think it's going to be better Karth than that? Was in, uh, she plays... Um, oh, she's... Um, 
Did you say Brianna Tart? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she plays Captain Phasma. Yeah. yeah. Is she Did she die? She dies, yeah. Um, she died in the last one? She, she, yeah, she gets Jedi, thrown yeah. into uh, a bunch of fire. Yeah. Okay, they, they did. Play, I mean, I do remember that, but I, I wasn't Finn sure if that was her. actual. He does. Yeah, yeah, he does. He does. Okay. I wasn't sure if that was actually I forgot death. all about that stuff. Yeah. Well, I yeah. gotta watch that movie again. I just don't have three days to, yeah. to set forth to yeah. watch it. I was originally gonna try to watch every single one of them right beforehand. Been, yeah. But yeah, I kind of just like bopped around. I didn't want to watch clones, and yeah. that made me not want to even do the trilogy that trilogy at all. So I, I watched four and five, and then I was just like, you know, I know the story. I don't like. It's not gonna change my opinion too much, or change my my experience too much on that. All right, so you don't think group here? No way, it's worse than. than I think Last it's going to be good. I think it's going to be a great movie. I think, All right. Yeah, so, I think it's. I think at least to me, it's going I hope to be people a great go movie. into it with an open mind. Go into open mind like you did before you thought Game of Thrones screwed you over. Yeah, you know, right. like. When well, we it's all, just, when it's we always the next thing, though. Thrones, we it's, all liked it. Yeah. It's, I, liked, I thought yeah. the ending was perfect. Yeah, yeah. Enough, all, it, it was perfect enough for them to end the way that they needed yeah. to. All right. It's entertainment. Yeah. No, that's the thing. Like, just, again, as Zach said before, uh, just fucking, like, just deal with the pussy. Like, get over it. Like, you are supposed to be entertained. You are supposed to be able to sit down, walk in, and be like, this is awesome. And I remember leaving Last Jedi, and Zach and I both kind of being like, eh. But we were both like, but we watched a fucking Star Wars saw movie. Fucking Star Wars we movie. saw a Star Wars movie. Uh, eh, that's why I can sit there and watch, I can watch Phantom Menace. And Clone Wars, I can watch all that shit because it's still a Star Wars movie. Yeah, it's still better than most yeah. other things. Any Star Wars, I mean, Rogue One proved it differently for me, but anything, I mean, as a kid, watching stuff with Jedi's was like a fucking yeah, watching a crazy samurai movie. Like, yep. Like fucking mm-hmm. people sword battling with fucking lasers. Yeah. Like what the fuck am I watching? This is crazy. I want one of those. It's like, like when you turn on when you're a little kid and you like turn on like Saturday mornings after the cartoons were over and there'd be like kung fu movies. Yeah. 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 That, that, all of a sudden that's like on the big screen yeah. and they're in space. Yeah. It's like, oh I just it's amazing. Yeah. And exactly. that I will say for the newer like for the prequels and the newer movies, it's at least the fight scenes are like oh, oh hell amazing, yeah dude. amazing yeah that's yeah, one thing they've like, never really skipped on they've gotten yeah, better as better time goes better. on yes. yeah 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 for sure all right well we're all excited for it hope everybody listening at home is excited for it just as excited as we are for season four of kyle mocha won't shut up yeah um, we have a lot of things coming a in. lot of things gonna be uh, hopefully going into uh, being put into place and and some changes being made with you know the format and all that as we do in between seasons yep. uh but we are going to be taking the next month off we'll be back on january 21st yes. um for our season four premiere we do not yet have any guests or musical uh guests to plug for that but i do know we are going to be having a just one curtain one of the first two weeks of okay. coming back so we've teased the the idea of having him in that video in a secret project or something, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, yeah. He'll be coming on. A uh, big thank you to Mr. Mean, Mean, Mean Mark Miller. Thank, thank you, you so much, me. brother. I always, it's always a, a pleasure. All <laughs> right. You know, anything you got to plug? Any projects you're working on? Nothing I'm working on, but right. I was going to say at the end of the show, miss you, Gus. I miss, miss you, Gus. Yeah, Happy birthday to you, brother. I just saw Tyler the other day. Yeah. Happy um, birthday to Gus, man. Fucking love that, man. He was, he yeah. was, he was a fucking best. Um, but yep, thank you so much for, for being here, brother. Um, Justin, yep. as always, big thank you for uh, putting everything together here, yeah, helping us get through another season. I can't believe we're already done with season three. It's crazy. It's absurd. Uh, but, hey, onwards and upwards and keep moving yeah. forward. We'll be back with season four shortly. Hey, man, I just want to say uh, everybody have a great holiday. Yeah, Merry yeah. Christmas Merry to Christmas. everybody listening. Have happy a happy New, New Year. Year. Be New safe. Year. Uh, enjoy your family. Enjoy your friends. Watch make good sure movies. Uber. Eat, don't drink, do Uber. Dumb. I mean, you yep. can do dumb things, but make sure you do uh, dumb things drink. that are safe. Do dumb things in an Uber. Yeah, yeah. that's true. All yeah. right. And then last but certainly, certainly not least, Mr. Zachary. Fuck, 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 fuck. Storman. Shit poop. Uh, shit poop. Poo, wow. I think it was poo shit. Poo shit. Poo shit. Oh, uh, my God. <laughs> As always, go check out uh, Moot.TV and our brother-sister love podcast, Let Me Ask You a Question, dropped every single Monday along with us for the Moot Monday release. Um, again, check out Sean L. Sasser's uh, fundraising uh, on, on GoFundMe. Uh, just look for get 
Sean help get Sean mobile again. Um, check out the Institute from the UK. Yeah. Again, Institute oh, yeah. with an A I N S T A T U T E. Uh, just remember, poop right now and institute. institute. There you go. Yeah. Um, their single will be released poop tomorrow. Poop now! Poop now! Enjoy all of the wonderful Get brunch, the Christmas music that we've made for you guys over the next yeah. week or so. Rock, and you it, know what? rock it on Christmas Day. Rock it on Christmas, and you can rock it all the way till next Christmas. You don't have to just listen to it around Christmas time. Uh, well, for Kyle Mocha, I won't shut up. Season three. I am Kyle Mocha. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We will be back in a month. And uh, as always, any idea on what we're doing as far as music format for next year? No, nah, I don't know. Not I yet. don't know. You'll have to come back. No cool. teases here. You guys will probably make some. Yeah, we'll make some music. Uh, okay. And speaking of music, here's first or second best song we've ever written to close us out. We'll see you guys in a month. Drink Merry nog. Christmas. Drink your nog. Drink your nog. All right. All right. Nog, nog. Bye. Mood.tv There's nothing more egomaniacal 